Turn the mic up, turn me down. Huh? <laughs> I'm yeah. in my zone. Go right. Listen, listen, we hit. Shout out to everybody watching on the motherfucking replay. We're going to start off with surf, man. Free surf. Oh, shit. Let, me, let me stop that screen real quick and let me go ahead and uh, get into my spill, so to speak. Shout out to the trappers. We are back there. This is the out of Henny Man Battle Rap Trap, and we definitely got the streets. This is, this is, I don't know what this is. This is the most hated podcast hosted by D.I. and Henny Man. I got a lot of ideas that I'm trying to execute. This is just one of them. So we're going to use it for the background for the day because Jen can't be here so we can do VS. You feel me? So today we got the most hated podcast. I am the most hated nigga in battle rap. And all we here to do today is, is talk about battle rap. No real drama. Just battle rap. Spiff, what's up with you? Man, listen. Before I get into my spell, right? Speaking of that song, I told the story before, but I gotta tell it again. I gotta tell it again. Um, around the time Surf was doing promotion for the album that that song was on, I had seen a tweet or maybe an Instagram story where they was like, "Yo, all media outlets reach out to this email. We letting people in to hear the album." I reached out to them. Like, yo, Battle Rap Trap trying to pull up. They was like, I bet. They was like, how many passes you need? Just the address. So we so we was in there. But I think the date that they set the joint for, I think you had something to do and I had something to do. So we ended up missing the whole little listening session for that album. But when I seen the trailer or the little movie they put out to show the clips and shit from that night, oh, I was hurt, man. I was hurt. They say love is war. I don't see soldiers here. Why yeah. you keep telling me it's over, but you over, you over here? here. <laughs> nah, man. Hey, All right, so listen. Go. Look, listen. That, listen. That, nigga said, that nigga said, your panties thinking they covered the same pussy that's trying to scam me. Late night, no breaks, roll dick like a banshee. You hate the fact that your mom still consider me family. family. Hey. Hey, I so so some on that drink. My bad, y'all. Back to the show. Shout out to the comments. Like the comments up. Hit the yeah, track, the, yeah. the like button and all that. Um, we we my fact, I'm gonna save I'm gonna y'all y'all not active enough in the chat yet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save the trap and check in for when we get more people in the chat. Hey Pull Spiff, up, man. Hey Spiff, why they mad at Ocho Cinco though, bro? Listen, Ocho Cinco ain't do nothing but spit six bars at the volume That's with it, a smile man. on his face mm -hmm. and, and try to celebrate the culture. And it seemed like they hate Ocho Cinco, man. What you you see what's going on? You know what? I think I think you know Ocho Cinco got you know celebrity status, so anything that he say gonna get a little bit more recognition than the average fan. So when it come to battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, even the fans, want the spotlight at the same time. So he got the pull to show up to the event, to, to throw an event, or to possibly book a battle. So they probably hating like Nas, nah, Slim. You know what I'm saying? I've been rapping every day for 37 years, and you go to one event and you get the battle DNA. I'm jumping out the window right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 what I think it is, man. But shout out to Ocho and, and everybody else that's a fan of the culture, man. That's a real fan, not just a, 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 a behind the scenes fan. People that actually pull up, people that take pictures, people that tweet, people that mention these other artists' names in interviews and ain't got nothing to do with them. That's why they mad at Ocho, huh? Because he can I score see, touchdowns and I see baby boy Jody say, you know how battle rap is. These motherfuckers harsh. They don't give a fuck if you new to this shit. All right, so listen, this 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 my take on this shit. And I, I thought it would kind of like I'm I'm surprised battle rap is acting like this. Yeah, you know I mean battle rap, y'all should be ashamed of yourself for acting like this. It, it it's almost like they saying, what can Ocho Cinco do for us that nobody else did already? Drake likes battle rap, so what do we need Ocho Cinco for? Number one. Ocho is a battle rap fan in addition to. He don't got to compete with what Drake did or what this person did or what that person did. The more people on a certain level that's interested in battle rap, the better it is for battle rap. You know what I mean? Ocho Cinco. Nice. Not, not the, the day that he battled on volume, dog, you know the most important thing he did? He got on Twitter and said battle rap with the little uh, thing that means it's better than Battle rap is better oh, than yeah. whatever y'all are listening to. You feel me? Yeah. He ain't just go up there and, and rap to try to get a little bit of shine. Y'all acting like this millionaire is a clout chase or something. He don't need clout from battle rap. He enjoys this shit. You know what I mean? Y'all see people out here making a mockery of battle rap all the time. You know what I mean? This, this, Spiff. Oh, 
okay. All right, yeah, this, this man coming in this motherfucker happy as shit. You know what I mean? He ain't trying to throw no money around yet, to my knowledge. You know what I mean? Right. You got to think about it. And niggas ain't appreciating what we got going on. We got niggas like Gerald McCoy throwing his own, throwing cards and putting battles together that he wants to see, staying behind the scenes, not asking for all the attention. You feel me? And, and just loving battle rap. We, what's wrong with Ocho Single doing the same thing? You know what I mean? Right. What's wrong with him joking a little bit just to get some eyes on the culture that he loved because he know the eyes going to follow him? How how do we know that we didn't get at least at least let's say ten thousand new supporters of battle rap? Maybe not right. people who buy tickets to go to the motherfucking event or or people that's going to pay for a motherfucking pay per view, but people who saw Ocho Cinco battle DNA and Charlie Clips, and then they went and looked at more Charlie Clips battles and more DNA battles, which made them look at Goods, which made them look at A Verb, which right. made because every battle rap motherfucking fan I know, that's how they started. They saw one thing. And was like, yo, I'm going down this rabbit hole to figure out what this shit is about. I want to know who the best nigga is. You feel me? Gotcha. But it take that one thing to fuck your interest, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nigga yeah. was complaining about caffeine, saying caffeine ain't doing shit for battle rap. But we got a whole new caffeine wave of fans, though. We every every major thing that that comes from from the mainstream or whatever does not have to be appreciated. Uh, Eminem, that was some that that was. Some clout chaser shit. Yeah, you know I mean, shout out to Eminem or whatever. I don't care. That was some clout chaser <laughs> shit. Eminem came into battle rap. Eminem started a league, and Eminem called his league the best league immediately before he had even threw a full event. Yes, he had grand ideas, but when you come in this motherfucker saying your league is the best league ever, this, that, and the other, you lose a couple dollars and you run away. That that's what you call uh, what's the what, not clout chaser? What's it called? When you, when you, 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 I mean, whatever, whatever the fuck. It's not clout chasing, but it's something. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, that's a culture vulture right there. You feel uh, me? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Them the type of yeah. niggas I need to have their eyes on. Not niggas who actually supporting this shit before they ever spend a dollar on it, before they ever try to get attention. A nigga posted an Ocho Cinco tweet from 14 years ago where he was posting a battle of, of it's a no name battle rapper too, a nigga who don't got no name today. But was battling 14 years ago and put up a tweet from 14 years ago of Ocho Cinco telling the niggas to go look at his battle. 14 years ago. This nigga has been into battle rap. And y'all niggas is going to make motherfuckers lose their love for this shit the same way y'all do battlers, the same way y'all do bloggers, the same way y'all do me at least once a motherfucking year. I just want to walk away from this shit the same way ARP saying he leaving. Y'all motherfuckers need to get your shit together, dog. Or y'all ain't gonna have no culture. Because the niggas who complaining ain't the niggas who gonna try to run shit. Except Thanks. they must. Y'all niggas ain't running no event. Y'all niggas ain't running no platform. Y'all niggas is running your mouth. Facts. Niggas Facts. is complaining about pay-per-views that they didn't even pay for. Facts. Go. Go. You feel me? Y'all niggas need to get y'all motherfucking shit together before we ain't got no culture to support. Ain't gonna be nothing but a bunch of bullshit ass battle rappers and weak ass motherfucking events. For real. Because because unless you're doing this shit a certain way, spending a certain amount of money or, or catching lightning in a bottle, it ain't no real money in running a fucking league. This is a passion project for most people, man. Yeah, you know I mean, let that man enjoy this shit. My bad. Let me read some comments, bro. My bad. I'm I'm I'm, I'm a P Black. What up? Uh, baby boy Jody said that's kind of what Ocho doing though. He's saying he the best. And yo, anybody who take Ocho serious is not even familiar with Ocho. Because if you look yeah. at the show, the nigga tell a new lie every night. That nigga said he know Pablo Noriega, the real Noriega. He owe me a hundred. Yeah, that, yeah. that nigga, that nigga is a joker, a liar, and a comedian, bro. Like he's not serious. <laughs> let's let's keep it. Let's keep it a hundred. Ocho Cinco is not seriously thinking he's the best. You know what, you I mean? know what though, bro? I think I think battle rap is so used to the drama that they try to find drama in good shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what the culture is supposed to do: reach people that I don't want to say that it's not intended to reach, but reach. You know what I'm saying? People that could further the culture: the Ocho Cinco's, the the Drakes, the the people like that. So if anybody got a problem with that. That's crazy. So we, we ain't supposed to be underground forever. This shit's supposed to be mainstream battle rap, 
you know what I'm saying, leagues and teams like NBA yeah, yeah, and man, NFL these type shit. Got, these niggas got followings, bro. It's not about the fact that Ocho is in the battle rap. It's the oh. fact that he's willing to share his interest in battle rap with his platform, which is the world. You feel me? That's that's what it's about, man. That's what it's about. And, and it's like people want to keep their toy to themselves. Like, nah, I don't want to share this. This is my toy. You know what I mean? Battle rap ain't your toy, though. Um, um, Thomas said, I don't think Eminem left because of the money. I think he left because of the lack of respect. Yo, Eminem, yo, one thing I say all the time about, about myself in life is I lead with respect. You know what I mean? I lead with respect. You have to lead with respect, though. Eminem came in this motherfucker saying he was the best shit smoking and ain't did shit yet. You know what I mean? They they were saying they was the best shit smoke. I can't remember their slogan, but it, it was it was it was similar to DJ Khaled's though. I tell you that much. <laughs> it was in this it was in this, you feel me? So we all the 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 who was who was supposed to respect it? We all we all enjoyed. Well, I was in jail for the whole reality show, but I looked at it when I came home. We all enjoyed it. We all had high expectations. The event was ass. The event had bright lights and looked like you fucking you got served or some shit and and bring it on put together or some shit. We we supposed to respect that all them fucking neon lights. We supposed to respect Ebro up in them motherfucking stands talking about shit he don't know and disrespect disrespecting battle rap. We supposed to respect that? Hell nah. A rap redo in the building, rap redux. I ain't gonna lie. This I got a confession. I don't know how to read that. What's the word? R E D U X. How, what is that? Redo or redux or redwa? I can't. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, redwa is crazy. Yo, it's, that's it's, one of my favorite right. pages on YouTube, though. Nah, it, hey, shout and, uh, out to anybody who is just getting in the battle rap. Think about a motherfucker like this. A motherfucker, Ocho Cinco, gets people in the battle rap. Now they go down the rabbit hole trying to figure shit out. You got pages like rap re redo. That got the documentaries on all types of things. The DMV right. move, uh, twerk, Geechee Gotti. I think it was one for Casey J or Vixen. You know I mean, like he got he got mad motherfucking documentaries that that's like a one on one crash course on individual topics in battle rap. You feel me? So y'all mad at Ocho Cinco? Y'all loud and mad about Ocho Cinco, but y'all ain't loud and 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 supportive about people who put in that type of work for the culture, though. Yeah, you know I mean, I think niggas just want to motherfucking complain. That page That's is mad underrated. That's a fact. All in one, Jules Ju Gaming one, Lounge, yeah. Henny. That I'm not finding. Where White is in my daily playlist. I appreciate you, dog. I I be seeing you the support. Your life. I appreciate that for real, real shit. I appreciate that shit. I don't know why. Uh, I, yo, listen, bro. Counseling works too, cause. Listen, I'm gonna tell you, music is my therapy, but I also see a counselor. If you love them two songs specifically, them is two dark ass songs, bro. You probably got depression <laughs> like me. You probably got depression like me, dog. Them nah, two them songs, songs is fire though. Nigga, nigga, I love them. I'm not fast on all saying. You ever think about life? God damn, you know it's about to be some deep shit here. You ever nah, think about that, life? But, but, Boy, roll your blunt, nigga. Gonna be a long the, the, the weird, weird white joint is definitely my shit for real though. But the whole album is my shit. But the weird white joint, like it's don't cry for me. Weird white. Uh, yeah, so we we got a guest coming up. We got a guest my coming phone, up. We got man. a whole bunch of events this weekend. A lot of events this weekend, man. We got a guest coming up, and then we're gonna talk about uh that Nickelodeon documentary. Y'all seen that? We're gonna talk about that at the uh, end of this shit, man. man, man oh. um, but real quick, before we go any further, there's 70 people on here, people commenting a little bit more now. So before I go any further, I got to show y'all love for showing us love. It's the Trapper Check-In. Where you niggas at? Where you niggas, where you niggas from? <laughs> where you at? Dollars. Stop disrespecting me. <laughs> hey, he where said you, you at? definitely line your own hair. Nah, God line my hair. Nigga, I ain't got no line up. I are you telling me to get a shape up? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't understand. You definitely line your own hair. I, I think he's saying my hairline is trash. Or maybe it's, I don't know. I don't know. Explain yourself, nigga. Brooklyn in the <laughs> building. Be more in the building. Big Brooklyn, Brooklyn shit. Oh, shit. D-Block and Jose. Y'all niggas could get together, smoke a blunt, and watch the show with us, man. No bullshit. You know what they, 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 they Brooklyn, Brooklyn the shit. You know what I mean? Salute to the whole New York. We got Shot town and the motherfucker. I'm on the way out there next month. You know what I mean? Uh, I like both albums. It's just them two is my in my daily playlist. Nah, Joel, salute, salute, <laughs> real shit. Though. Shout out, shout um, out. Nah, but Arkansas. no, I, I'm not. But I wasn't bullshit. Like I really suffer from depression, PTSD. 
That's how I got my marijuana card and everything in, in Maryland. You know what I mean? Um, Arkansas and this motherfucker somewhere in Jersey on my way to Harlem, all in one drive safe, real shit. Right, yeah, yeah, uh, salute yeah. the city, loot in the building. Man, this nigga just keep on calling, man. DMV just moved back to Hello? Maryland with NBA for five years. Shout out to you, man. What's good, chat? What's good, panel? D DMV and this motherfucker just moved back to Maryland with NBA. Oh, so you a DMV DMV nigga? Yeah. Like, 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 like what part of DMV you from? Nigga? I'm about to say, the NV, nigga. Right. What the fuck? Hey, 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 Bo, Bo Dollars from Erywich. Now, this nigga said Beijing, China. He from Arkansas. <laughs> he, he must be a military base. Hey, shot. Hey, hey shot, bro. I got, I'm, I'm live, bro. I got to go. Oh, okay. This, this is my I don't know. Uh, shit. I, I nah, nah. Uh, ten thirty. Hit me at ten thirty. I'll be off now. Uh, yeah, man. Free shot. You know, that's my nah, brother. Definitely, bro. definitely free that's my shot. My brother calling on the collective. Hey, hey, somebody say free all the real rights. You already know, man. For real. Nah, real shit, man. The nigga, the nigga just like he got a radar for when I'm live or some shit, man. And the nigga, <laughs> man, I ain't gonna lie, do he call when you live. This nigga be getting more money than me, man. Nigga got my cash app looking crazy right now. Call her, yo, yo, hey, did somebody send you some money, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody send me some money? The fuck you mean? <laughs> Nigga, hey, nigga, nigga. nigga, checking on his money. So let him hold on. What, nigga, this is motherfucking cash out music for Lil Pushy, for Ray Ray, for all this. Man, come on. I know Nobody somebody said $23. Money, I need that. For real, <laughs> man. Send me some money. Um, I'm waiting for our guests real quick, but I guess we can run through some shit. Hey, listen, any topics y'all want to talk about, yell that shit out, bro. We, we, we Put them in the chat. Somebody said, how you feel about Big T versus Ad? Oh, that's okay. So that's on one of them cards. Uh, Big T versus yeah. Av. That's on a Chicago channel. Um, Big T versus Av. I got Av. I, I got yeah, Av. Big T is my yeah. nigga. Like in real Shout life, out. I fuck with Big T. Shout out to Great vibes all the time. You feel me? Uh, but nah, I got I got Av though. I, I got Av. like Av is one of the most consistent. He don't lose. He don't play with no type of vet. When you get a vet on his plate, he turns up even more. Um, and Big T just has not been consistent. So hopefully he step it up a level for this one and show us that he can compete. Yo, speaking of compete, man, we got one of the motherfucking dopest competitors on the RBE stage right now. This is somebody who won rookie of the motherfucking year a little while ago. Somebody who made it to the uh somebody who made it to the uh what's it called? Choosing that to the, chrome, to the chrome 23 too. finals yeah. and all that. And somebody that's about to battle bar none, the Ugliest, stinkiest, dirtiest nigga in America. We got caution in the motherfucking <laughs> building. What's up? <laughs> caution in the building. You on mute, caution. You on oh, mute. Oh, my bad, go. my bad. I go. came in quiet, nigga. I ain't want to come in hot, bro. My bad. Right. Go. What up, what up, everybody? Caution, what, what up, up gang? Up. Salute, hey, salute. Caution, what up? Hey, listen, number one, you know what I mean? About a year ago, me and you done had some back and forth. We been <laughs> yeah, this thing, but, ain't, but ain't nothing like a common enemy to really make people real. <laughs> You feel me? Hey, yo, so, they say what they say. A friend of my enemy is my friend. Yeah. Or oh, any yeah. the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. look, we, we now now I don't know how how much time you got, but I don't want to hold you. So we we got a bunch of cars we about to run through. But God, the damn. car that you the car that you on this weekend is versus uh shitty gwitty the breed different. Caution versus Woody hey, is the headliner. We got Peaches versus Jay, Jay Bree versus Dollar Bill, Young Riddick versus LL Kooji. You feel me? Then we got mm -hmm. a, a nice undercard. This is a two week, I mean, this is a two day event. You know what I mean? Hey, so this man. is eight two. Mr. Mills versus six eight. Uh, my nigga Floss the Boss in the building, Zay in the building. I want him to pull up. Fate versus Wise and Merlin, nigga. All that. You know what I mean? First and foremost. <laughs> What, what's up with you and Gwitty, man? Y'all be going back and forth crazy, yo. I, I, I'm enjoying the promo, but is it like, is it, is it like, is the intensity going to carry over into the battle? Of course, obviously. I mean, like, I ain't doing this shit for nothing, bitch. I'm yeah. doing it to get to the point so I can tell that nigga exactly what I think about him in his face. Yeah. Keeping it all battle rap because it is, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I don't know none of these people personally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't got any dealings with nobody that ain't from the 757, especially before Battle Rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Other than Battle Rap, nigga, I don't know this nigga. But 
you got to hold your ground in this shit. And mm. we both came at RBE together. No matter how long you was out here doing what you was doing, we both came over to RBE together. And what I look like on RBE and what you look like on RBE, you better shut up talking to me, nigga, before I snap. And since you keep talking, I'm going to put my finger in your fucking sternum, right here in your fucking chest. I'm going to talk to you like you're my fucking son. You feel me? You fucking dirty boy. That's how I'm going to talk to him. You know what I mean? He the only nigga. Yeah, right here in the sternum. I'm a, uh. yeah, he the yeah, only yeah. nigga in battle rap that we know for a fact only shows up to events with a book bag and probably don't take nothing out that hoe. You know what I'm saying? Hey, now, now, I don't like the nigga. You need but luggage when you travel. You need luggage when you travel. I, I fake don't like the nigga. I say that. because I, I don't, I don't hate the nigga. Bag, I don't like something he said about me on Angry Fan. You know what I mean? And oh, he, yeah, and he, I know, mean. he knows that. He knows that. You know what I mean? But I got to play uh whatever that shit called. Wait, Devil's you. Advocate. Yeah, I got to play Devil's Advocate real quick. He said he don't have no book bag. He said that part wasn't true right there. So let me be clear. Because what I don't do is lie. Okay. And I ain't right. painting narratives. Okay. I'm going to say, I seen you get off a motherfucking shuttle from a plane or whatever the case may be. I seen you over there with niggas who got off the shuttle. Let me not say I seen you get off the shuttle. Yeah. I seen you over there with niggas who got off the shuttle. I seen niggas with baggage going into the hotel. I was I was already checked in. And I seen you with a fucking book bag. And that was the first time you got there, nigga. You wasn't there before then. Nobody was there before then. I arrived at the hotel at like 9 o'clock that fucking morning. Nobody was fucking there. Yeah. I sat outside smoking blunts, waiting on winging them so we could check in. And when I checked in, I was still, you know what I mean, smoking. So I was sitting outside watching niggas when they pulled up. I spoke yeah. to everyone and when they pulled up, even you. But nigga, it didn't register to me to bring up, to like shit on you about it till you became my opponent. Fuck you mean. I'm not making this shit up, nigga. You do. You've done it. Oh, uh, somebody said, Fuck Gwitty, me. stay with a book bag. Oh, somebody oh. Oh, is there is there someone in the comments confirming what I saw with my okay? Uh, somebody, thank somebody you, person. Said, he somebody said, "Would you be stealing from Dollar Tree?" Go ahead, man. Y'all, hey, man, listen, man. Stop. Maybe they wilding them up. Maybe they wilding them up. But I'm just being dead ass serious. I seen the nigga in New York, and we go hard with the wrinkly shirt on. That nigga, I, I, you should have pulled that out of a book bag. Because if you got it out of a dresser drawer, anything like that is insane, bro. That like dirty clothes hamper, shake it out, put it on. Look like what you've done. And that was in New York. There's noise. All right, let's move on, bro. Hey, man. Hey, hey, listen. You know, hey, I'm you know what's on. crazy? Hey, Smith, I, Smith, I'm going to kick it to you. I just want to say, I, I feel like she's talking to me. Because I, I move with a book bag, too. When you when you hopping off the plane, when you when you try to get that free carry on, the book bag the best way to go. Yeah, yeah. All right, so look, so look, so look, so look, right? Sure. I'm not going to knock it because I get the circumstance, right? But yeah. me promoing, I'm going to talk shit about it because it's implied, nigga, that everything you got oh, on when oh. you got off the plane is what the fuck you wore to the venue. Mm. Oh, oh, well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, hey, that listen. part, that part, that part. Hey, listen. Ahead, you ever seen this nigga clean? Oh, all right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let I'm sorry. You, Go ahead. Let me tell you something about how black people talk, right? When they want to emphasize something, they just put lists at the end. Ugliest, dirtiest, stinkiest, tallest, shortest, smelliest. You just put is at the end of that shit and you just emphasize it like that to get your point across. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how we do it. It's hashtag is. I don't even know how to spell is, but hashtag <laughs> anyway. But, um, I-S-T, nigga. IST nigga, I'm changing my Twitter name to IST nigga IST tomorrow. Nigga. <laughs> nah, but 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 listen though. So preparing for this battle was it different than any other battle? All I mean, all jokes aside, at the end of the day, you still gotta rap and have the better bars. What's now, you? Gwitty, you know what I'm saying? We could say all that we're saying about him, but he does have you know stage presence, he does have a certain the charisma that's been getting them booked or that's been getting them by through the years to where he can mm -hmm. still be 
you know, on the blogs and, and on the timeline and everything like that. So does that play mm -hmm. a factor to you or are you all bars coming in there to punch his head off? What we doing? Well, first, before I tell you that, let's be clear. Gwitty has the ability to make moments. He creates moments. He's good at that. I'm not knocking that. That has gotten him from being a spectator to actually being in the ring. Just the way he responds to shit. He's very charismatic. You know what I'm saying? Salute to Gwitty for surviving this long in this game and culture of ours because we know in this thing of ours is real fickle. And you don't just got to rap to be relevant. So salute right. to that. All right. Now, now back backtracking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had no motivation to write for this nigga. Ah. So <laughs> I decided to write for myself. Yeah, and yeah, saying yeah. my name is a warning, bitch. And that means it's bad for your health. Yeah. It's caution. That's my slogan, motherfucker. That's what I go by. That's, that's, not, that's a lifestyle, bro. I don't give a fuck about who the fuck is in front of me, nigga. I'm going to do the same thing because the same way you watching footage, trying to beat that bitch you watching on footage, I'm trying to write to be better than that bitch you just watched on footage. Yeah. So fuck out of here, nigga. Good luck at beating her that you about to face because we both yo. about to beat the bitch you watched. <laughs> I like that. I like, I the like energy, that, man. I like what you I said. Where, where the, where the uh, aggravated assault loud homie that be saying your slogan with you? Like He, he be back that motherfucker like, he say that shit louder than you for real. I feel um, like, oh, hold up. Hold up. I was told a long time ago everybody can't come to the cookout. So, you know what I mean? It ain't no love lost. Oh, shit. I just had to maneuver yeah, yeah, accordingly. Yeah, I just had to maneuver yeah, accordingly. I, 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 I was, yeah, I thought that was like like your family or something. That's why I was like, yo, shout out to even, them. For their even, if it is, even, if, even if it is. Yeah. Everybody yeah, okay, can't come okay. to the cookout with me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it ain't I, no yeah, love lost, like but I just move accordingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all, listen, because a lot of people have asked. As, as a matter of fact, I was doing an interview and niggas said, you need your crowd behind you that say your slogan with you. Niggas need that shit like your last couple battles, you ain't had it. And I'm thinking about it like you bringing it back up again, like on an interview too. Like, let me just be clear, like. For any fans or anybody who feel that way, say it with me. That's what it's for. If y'all yeah, in the yeah. building, say it with me. Because everybody can't come to the cookout with me. And I'm finding that out. It ain't no love lost. I'm just yeah. moving accordingly. That, I didn't you know even know this homie was missing. Like, I just I remember was he was just loud. That one time he was loud as shit. I said, yo, this thing is, <laughs> <laughs> this thing is wild right now. See, the thing I know about this battle, and I bet somebody. I can't remember who the fuck I bet, but I want my money, nigga. Because I uh, bet on you. I bet $20 that you're going to be shitty gritty. And something that I know that the person who I bet probably didn't know is this shit is in your area any fucking way, right? <laughs> it's in Hampton, Virginia. Ooh. Seven, five, yeah. seven. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like, look, yeah. first of all, it's home as far as the, the turf. But it's home as yeah. far as RBE, too. Like, ain't, you know, like respect to flaws. Salute the flaws. Respect the Mr. Mills. Salute the Mr. Mills. But ain't nobody been active putting in work as of lately like the kid. If you ain't a real brick right now, you don't get to say shit to me in that motherfucking building. Bitch, that's my house. <laughs> that's how I feel. That's oh, my house. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? So and, and, and I and I said that too to like give flaws and Mr. Mills, because it's not like you know, we I'm talking battle rap shit, and nobody's yeah. denying they work and they leg work and the shit that they've done for the brand and at RBE long before niggas got there. But since I've been there, nigga, you've been late, <laughs> you've been a little yeah. light, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the kid been holding up the mantle. Salute, you have something to come back to. You feel me? <laughs> I know all my bricks feel the same way. You feel me? Y'all got something to come back to because we've been out here working. Shout out to the intake niggas too because them niggas is worse than as hell. They, they, they a movement. Yeah, shout yeah out I rock the right. flaws. That's my dog, but man, uh, definitely feel free to talk your shit though if you deem it yeah. necessary. I, you know, yeah. nobody yeah. can get mad at that. That's what you hear man. from me. Oh, brick. Ain't a brick losing. That's how I feel, bro. If you if you if it's brick on brick violence, 
stand down if you ain't from the seven five. You know what I mean? It's how I feel. <laughs> but uh, if you ain't no brick, bro, you going to get somebody that Gwitty, sit your ass down. Mr. Mills, sit your ass down. Floss, you too, bro. Sit your ass down. Wise, sit your ass down. LL Coogee, sit your ass down. What the fuck you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore. Hey, look, look. Salute the wise, yo, because, like, my boy, I'm not like I'm not shitting on bro's resume. You know what I'm saying? As a as a person, as a fan of battle rap, he got a lot of motherfucking season, okay? Bro been out here putting in motherfucking work. He got some talk to talk. We can't talk that shit to me on RBE, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. I said what the fuck I said, nigga. Why I stand the fuck down, nigga? <laughs> she double back on nigga. I fuck you mean? I stand on everything I say, bro. But I ain't gonna let nobody twist my shit up to be like it's something it ain't. And I don't want the other person to feel offended. But bitch, I'm me. I'm gonna talk shit to you when I see you too, nigga. Fuck you mean? And you know why? Don't and die. You know, That's what the and, fuck and, I and, tell him. And, and you know what? <laughs> Deservingly so, because she definitely battle tested, man. I'm talking about, you know, the Bonnie Gadavas, the, the Shavraks, the Yoshi G's, the Bonnie Gadavas, yeah, the Tatoes. And the short time, too. First Lady Flames. You know what I'm saying? Like, she right. definitely got the right to be like, I stand on that, but and here's the proof type shit. So I'm I'm here for it. I love hey, you. Look, I, want, I want to show y'all something, though, real quick, man. Yeah, you know I man. I was just strolling the internet the other day, and and this guy popped up, and the comment said he looked like a light skinned witty. Check this thing out. What's up, guys? It's Hard Rock Nick, the Prince of Florida, the face of cryptocurrency, and one of the richest. Really, in the world. bro? Hey, mo, that's Long, crazy, man. Bitch ass Boston <laughs> Celtics <laughs> fans. First of all, Miami. this man. Oh, let me. I'm gonna pull man. my phone a little closer because I. First of all, this man is clean as a whistle. This man no, looks no, no, like no, no. a coin. I think, they talk, okay? I think they talk about, you know, Gwitty got them sharp ass uh, these jumps. I don't know if they yeah. eyebrows, eyebrows. eyebrows. That nigga said. Yeah, yeah, I think they talk yeah. about that. And then the bald head, the, they face is, is shaped, their head shaped. Nah, the I know exactly what they talking about. I see what they talking about. But what I'm trying to tell you is do not disrespect that man. That <laughs> man. That man that's looks cool. like he is you worth know, something. He looks like a coin. Look at him. You can see a dollar sign around him somewhere. The best pussy. You don't I see that shit. <laughs> Bro, when you that's see Quiddy, you barely see 25 cent to wash that motherfucking outfit he got on, baby. You barely see that. <laughs> Fuck you mean. Come on, bro. Come oh, on, bro. Man. Hey, cause I ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> nah, you this is energy. I'm the like energy we need. I love hey, that. You know Woody coming with the jokes. Are you? Man, that's all. Are look, bro. Listen. Are you watch this. With... Okay. Listen. Watch this, bro. Every battle I've been in, I'm the ugliest bitch. Uh, I can think of all the different glasses jokes, little body built jokes. Every battle I'm in, right? And I've won way more battles than I lost. So that shit don't fucking work, nigga. And I don't sit there and go back and forth with nobody about no motherfucking shit, bitch. I go in there, I say what the fuck I got to say, nigga. And it's always better than them fucking jokes they come with. I don't care if you want to go. He did good with his promo. You know what I'm saying? Salute to that. Niggas want to wild me up. The little jokes and shit going around. Salute to that. Now we get in this motherfucking ring. Let's see if how ugly you think I am is gonna be better than how many bars and punches I'm gonna hit your ass with. So, so let's just see. So you mean to tell me that when he say na 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 mid round, it ain't gonna affect you none at all? Hey, let me ask you a question. When he say <laughs> when he say na 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 na, when he say na 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 na, is that before or after somebody reacts? You know what? I never really paid that much attention to it. Neither he just say that shit. Yeah, he just be saying it. You know I, why? I know. Because because right now, because when listen because when he say it, it make you say something. <laughs> he say something dry, na 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 na, and you be like, "What the fuck?" Oh oh, that like, bro, what is that? Uh, Jedi mind trick type shit, na 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 na. Nigga, but, every but, time. But, <laughs> That's smart though. I can't. I can't hate. That's look smart. Look though. Look though. Every time I'm a, 
a fan of somebody or I like, you know, enjoy them. I'm entertained by them. Once I watch you as a competitor, opponent, yeah, bitch, none true. of that. All I see, yeah. I see through everything, bro. All that shit go out the fucking window. He he did a battle, bro. Like, and I don't watch everything because I don't have to. Like, I'm um, I'm in tune with this culture enough now to where I could just watch a few battles because I'm in tune with what you got recent. You know what I mean? I'm in tune. You know what I mean? Last two three years, I probably ain't missed the shit you done because I'm in it. So I go back and watch a little bit of shit, like to see certain shit, but you know, make sure for certain shit, but. For the most part, bro, he's never done nothing phenomenal. This nigga do a battle, three fucking rounds, and say six lines. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, he rapping. He rapping. He rapping. He's rhyming. He's rhyming. But none of that shit is hitting. It's the na 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 It's nasty. That's making it's the crowd nasty, go crazy. Yeah. I mean, that shit is. That, that really do. I mean, yeah. but uh, in in twenty twenty four, if you don't got that, okay, you know I mean? but, like, it, but that's not people. gonna work against me though. Okay, okay. <laughs> you yeah, gotta yeah, rap. Yeah, that's, that's, you gotta yeah, rap yeah. with me, bro. Like I'm not um, I don't have dry performances. Okay, I'm not the bitch that you can bully in the fucking ring. Okay, you're not gonna over aggressively. <laughs> And think I'm not gonna match or surpass your energy, bitch. That shit not gonna work with me. Sit your lit. I'm on right here, <laughs> right, S bro. I'm going to right in his sternum. I'm gonna talk to that nigga like he my fucking child, nigga. I got three sons, all of them bigger than me. I don't give a fuck, nigga. <laughs> right here oh, with man. it, bitch. And, and, you know and what I mean, and, and you know what? That's what we need. Aside from all the antics and all the, you know overly performing and all that like you know what i'm saying what are you saying Not where just, are the just, bars just, right where, where the bar like what yeah. where are the bars yeah what did what did say where i ask i'll go where are the bitches where are the bars gwitty where were the bitches facts facts no bullshit no bullshit man nah okay so yo yo uh, listen you you mentioned how you don't be losing i'm not gonna lie when 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 I just wanted to see you fail so bad, I wanted to see you lose, and you did keep winning, and it bothered me because I, I didn't think you was fire at first, and but you were still right. winning, and then you got, but then you got better. We, we was doing VS, and I like I was I was saying on the show like I can't yeah. stand that motherfucker, but nah, I remember, I remember y'all. You know I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm like, it's, it's good to see where you went with it, but as far as your trajectory with RBE, are you? Like behind the scenes, I, I is it something? It seemed like it's something going on with RBE where AIP might be taking a step back. Um, as y'all are still growing your process, are we gonna see you get to get on these bigger stages or these uh, what's this junk called the four circles or or something like that? I did the AIP? first full circle, huh? Mm, I, did the first, I, did, I did the first full circle QB battle. Uh, Charlie Clips. I battled Rx. Jag battled I Arson. I watched that. I did watch yeah. that. I did, I did watch the that. first full circle. Um, so ARP. I'm gonna say like this because I don't, I don't really know what he's doing. ARP yeah. has never been the person that I talk to every day or regular basis. ARP yeah. is a. I'm about to do something. All right, boom. You ready? I'm ready. I right, bet. And then. He might like when Wing got some going, Lawrence got some going. He might be like, uh, that was a fire battle, good shit. You know, when when the media and Raven, everybody going off, he'd be like, I heard good shit about whatever, whatever type shit. But I don't speak to him regularly. I speak to Wing regularly. You know what I'm saying? Wing has always been the bricks point of contact. Even okay. the people that Lawrence brought over, Wing is our point of contact. So like, mm -hmm. behind the scenes for us. <laughs> if he's retiring, okay, okay. This is retired, bro. You got a two day event happening this weekend. You got mm -hmm. full circle happening next weekend in Cali. Right. And then you're hashtagging retired. Well, you know, if this is retired, yeah. long as you long as you cool, bro, because I'm cool. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing, ain't nothing. More or less, what I'm telling you is the, the ship is not view this course at all, veer this course at all. We like, okay. 
nobody is understanding like we did understand that he was absent from the internet social media yeah niggas was concerned like that and that but shit he would post every now and then that he in some foreign spot around a couple of family members or some baddies so nigga then we understood oh he on vacation <laughs> right you know what i'm oh, saying so bitches, oh, okay he i man he I so listen, you, you basically just maximize on your opportunities and and, exactly. and when that call always comes, you did, you always ready. see ready like i am not to be on no like horn tuning but i'm not giving anybody any problems you know what i'm saying i'm not asking for much i'm playing my position so i'm not worried you know what i mean i do what I, I do my job and i'm not bothered by any other shenanigans you know what i'm saying i abide by what is required of caution mm -hmm. so I'm good. <laughs> Salute oh, everybody. I didn't know I could do that shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bang, bang. Yeah, he, done, he, done, he, done, he, done, he done figured the screen out, man. This nigga done click clicking it. Huh? Now, hey, now, now. Hey, hey, but but you know what though? I seen the, the first time I seen Caution live, believe it or not, uh, I think it was 2022. She was at she was at Martinis on the other side of Martinis on Showtime. You remember you battled Rose Rowe on Showtime? Hey yo, that I was the I battle was that changed Rose everything for me. You hear me? About that it. battle right there changed everything for me. Shout out to Fuse. Yeah, that's what DMV do, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to the uh Showtime battle uh arena yeah. because I was I was right they, there front and center. I was like, hey nah, Slim right there. She going crazy. She about to be somebody in this so, show. Um. I think I was able not only to level my pin up to where I could embark with him, but how the battle transitioned and then me watching it back on camera, mm -hmm. I realized what I needed to do to clean my shit up. Like it was like it wasn't that the punches were the problem. It just took me too fucking long to get there. I don't have to explain every fucking thing. And I'm feeling like cause niggas don't know me and I don't want to give a room for somebody to say what well, you said but you didn't say and how we so I, I try to get it all out. You know what I mean? Watching it back is like yo, but that out of town experience, that crowd being at that type of stage and setting did more than prepare me that that i knew like i didn't know exactly but that was my first time you know what i'm saying performing away from home getting some wreck in with a uh trying to convert the crowd over to fuck with me and then yeah. when i went from there because old boy seen me there when he got an opportunity to battle on we go hard shout out to uh jericho that's rose Row people he yeah, didn't like what I did to her, but he had an opportunity to battle over there and ask them if they would, you know what I mean, let me come over and hit me up. And that battle changed the game for me. Going yeah. to We Go Hard or She Go Hard, whatever, whatever. I don't, I don't remember how they classified it for me when I went over there, you know what I mean? But yeah. going there to battle there on that particular card, it elevated. Three months later, I was at RBE doing my 1SK. Yeah. Fire. fire, fire! Hey, <clears throat> um, and yo, if you if you want to come back one day, or even face to face to sit down, I like to get people a whole journey. We don't got time for that tonight. This specific yeah. promo, mm -hmm. but it'd be dope to get like your whole journey, like yeah. you know what I mean, before battle rap, mm -hmm. got to do all that. Because I mean, you seem like you got a dope story for real, for real. Man. I can tell hey, you, look, man, I, I, can tell I would you love really, to chop it up. I can tell you, really been through some shit in life. You know what I mean? I can tell you, really. You know, some of the shit you say really came from a, a real place and all that type shit. So I sure. think that's dope. Um, I got one more question for you, then I'm gonna show the car sure. uh shit. But yeah, and I'm a I'm a plug in and haul ass. Yeah, facts, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want yeah, but I got all one right. more question. Yeah, we're gonna sure. of course before you go anywhere, you gotta do your plugs and shit. But for sure, for sure. you was going real hard with just promo and talking shit heavy. Uh like it seemed like let was it 2022 or 2023 or both? You know what I mean? It seemed like you calmed down a little bit. Is it because you started to get a little bit more respect on your name or, or is it for other reasons? I just changed the way I promo. I'm learning what's effective promo marketing. I don't want to be controversial and people are starting to have to put respect on my name. 
the accolades are speaking for itself. I'm not going to talk shit to somebody who's clearly ahead of the game in me by saying to them that I'm better than them in that aspect. I would much rather, in, you know, tell them, hey, yo, look, I'm the shit. Come outside for me. You know what I'm saying? If you really are who you are, which I seen you, you know what I mean? But I don't know if that's going to work on me. Why don't you come outside for me? I'm not going to try to downplay somebody else's work, you know what I mean, ahead of that. So, like, I guess because of the momentum that I have, the, the respect that I'm getting, and I've learned what's been effective. Like, you know what I mean? Certain promo that I've done got your attention right now. Even though the other shit did, too. Mm -hmm. The shit that I'm doing now got your attention, me right here. Mm -hmm. So it's working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, fact, fact, fact. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a good point. That's a good point because you still doing promo directly, but at first yeah. it was like you was letting off shots at every direction. It was like it wasn't singled at your opponents. It was like anybody could get a game every day. That too, day. because y'all made it like that, like respectfully. We was getting hit on every you know, like all from everybody, bro. Every media, every league, everybody was popping off at us. And in order to get the respect for y'all to not just take me as the individual, but the brand and the status that I represent with the bricks, nigga, I'm shooting at anybody saying anything remotely. Bitch, if you talk about breed, I'm on you. If you say something about Zay, I'm on you. Bring up a lady brick, bitch. I'm putting out an APB, and I expect niggas behind me when I buck. I'm the type of bitch to punch you in your mouth for talking shit, and then go tell my brother that nigga over there talking shit. Who the nigga with his mouth bleeding? God just punched him in his shit. That, that's that's me. You know what I mean? So I was jumping out the window on everything I seen on the internet because, bitch, I bet you won't talk about my bro. I bet you won't say shit about my sis. And then I go in there and be like, hey, y'all, I just wild up such and such on the on, on Twitter. Such and such went off on Instagram. I snapped, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But let, let, let the record reflect, though. I ain't say nothing about y'all niggas. Y'all was trying to bully me. I ain't say <laughs> You feel me? But nah, salute though. Nah, but I respected it though. I respected the yeah. unity of it though. Like I all like for yeah. real. Even while y'all was coming at me, I'm in wing inbox, like, nah, this shit fire for real. Like, you Bro, know, still something. And you battle rap. So yeah, one yeah. one or two things gonna happen. Either you gonna come out, salute the ready, or you're yeah. gonna talk about us. Yeah. Salute the battle rap tribe. <laughs> Either way, right? <laughs> Either way. Hey, or both. Yeah. But Come on. I respect, I respect I respect that movement. Now we got this weekend. We got caution versus Gwitty headlining. You see the rest of the card on the screen. And then uh this is that's y'all day one and this is day two, right? Yeah, for sure. Fourth of Sunday. Okay. Twenty fourth right, Sunday. So, I mean, we're not gonna do whole predictions, but let me know outside of your battle with Shitty Gwitty. What's what what other battles should the people be really looking forward to? Like the jokes uh, that you think is going to okay. be a big hit. So, Give me three out. Give me three out. On day one, I'm gonna say definitely breeding dollar for shit show. Sure. Um, J J definitely. Bill? Yes, they wow. reverse dollar oh, bill. Yeah, nah, that's that's fine. Def yeah. Definitely. Um, notes and Cino on day one. Okay. See, hey, see hey, no hey, yeah, see see no fab. Fab. Both them niggas notes from out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga notes get crazy. <laughs> so shout out to him. That's yeah, gonna be right. crazy on day one. And Zay and Sniper is gonna be crazy on day one. Fire. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be the only lady battling on that, and I ain't talking about it because it is what it is. Salute the peaches, though. That's my dog. She'll be in the building. Shout out, Peaches. So oh, we can so go to day two. Her opponent, her opponent backed out. Yeah, we can go Jay to day two, out. though. Okay. Shout out, Jay. You know, we fuck with Jay. I didn't even realize that was her opponent at the time. But, um, you know, more power to that. You don't seem to be too upset about it. So it's all good. But yeah. I will say this. Females, especially when they the only one repping, tend to have performance of the night. Battle yeah. of the night type shit. You feel me? Nigga, so, I'm not put man listen, bro. I know what I'm. I know. I know what's on my. I know what's on my jacket. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Now, you, Check. Cause I want you. I want you to do your plugs, but I just. I just want to remind you. No pressure. Just don't fuck this up. 
because I had a sponsor ready to pay for me and Gwitty the same exact day. You know what I mean? But y'all had already reached out to him first. So if you don't kill him, that means I could have been killing him that day. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, well, and, and don't, so, so well, get well, don't you worry your pretty little head, nigga, and keep <laughs> your glasses on nice and tight, okay? Because I'm going to fuck this nigga up. I'm going to beat shit down his leg uh, respectfully, yeah. respectfully, battle rapidly. I'm going to put my hands in his pocket. I'm going to pull his pants up. I'm going to put a belt on him. I'm going to tie his shoes. I'm going to iron his clothes. I'm going to put my finger in his chest, and I'm going to tell him when we get here, don't you Ask for nothing. Don't you touch nothing. That's how I'm a tree. That's how that's what we're gonna do. Like a hug. That's what we're gonna do. So look, yo, I'm caution seven five seven shit, aka the gun. You already know what type of time it is. RBE shit, queen of the bricks, first lady of RBE. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, y'all niggas need to pull up if you in Hampton. If you anywhere in the seven five seven, tap in, yo. Like it's a two day event, Saturday and Sunday, March twenty third and twenty fourth. I'm on the 23rd. The 24th is lit, too. I'm going to be in the fucking building either way. Niggas going to be crazy. Also, if you're not in tune with me, get in tune with me on Caution Versus on YouTube, nigga. Get my motherfucking views up, nigga. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe to all the places that I done battled at because it's lit and I'll be back there again. Tap in with my boys up here. You know what I mean? D out of Henny, man. Salute to my guy over here. I don't even know your name, bro. Sorry, bro. But, but it's like, all good. It's a, yeah, it's, salute to them. Absolutely, though. Just trap salute. Tap, tap in with them. You know what I mean? I, I appreciate D I for hitting me up, bro. We're going to tap in and do another show. Y'all niggas get the VOD if you can't be in. Rapgrid.com or rarebreedent.com. You know what I mean? Salute to that. 757 caution. I'm out I, this I, bitch. Listen, listen, yeah. listen. Media training like shit. That was good. That was, that was good. Fire. <laughs> that was good. That was fire. Fifth, she don't Everybody. know your name. Fifth, she don't know your name. So give her, yeah. give her something to remember. What's your name, you bro? Like, give her one last I, question or, or, or something. <laughs> now nah, listen, listen. I'm I'm gonna do what I didn't do earlier. She don't know my name, so I'm gonna give you a good five up. All right. Okay. Spiff. That's S P I two F on the Spiff. They call me Trappy Real Figure. They call me Light Skin Jesus. Who is that huh? man over there, Mama? That's him. That's me. Oh shit! You I like that? that. Who is that man over there, Mama? That's him. It's crazy. That's me. <laughs> you understand? What Light I'm Skin Jesus. All Light that Spiffs. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, sometimes when I be in my acting bag, they call me Leonardo DiCaprio. They oh, I, I, oh, you know I, I like might, that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, might, I might, I might make a movie or two, and then I'm also the flyest nigga, you know. So I might put on some Salvatore Spifagamo. You never know what you oh. might, where you might see me and what I might be doing. Okay. Yeah, but, 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 at, but at, at the end of the day, if you don't remember nothing, anytime you see or hear trap, absolutely. Think about me. Absolutely. Right. Of course. That nigga said right. it so much, we probably forgot his name again. But <laughs> no, nah, like trap. Listen, you got trap on your name. It's trap. Absolutely, Leonardo the Trapio. Got them <laughs> light skin Jesus. Got them spliff. Got them uh the 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 trappiest. No, <laughs> I S T. Yeah, I, 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 I like I, it. I like it. I smoke too much weed or still don't smoke enough because she did that shit. I hey, hey. really appreciate you, real shit. Thank you for having me, man. I'll be back uh, again. Uh, yeah. Hey, oh, nah, shit. Look, it looked weird with just two people. Hold up. Well, I, <laughs> and, we get, <laughs> and then we, we like them two. <laughs> yo, we look like them two niggas that sitting. Sitting next to each other like it ain't open seats available. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, she said you're and then left the smoke on the side no, of the Oh, we like them two days really at the movie here. theater that and it could clearly put a seat between us, but choosing not to. Shout out to caution. Dope interview. We definitely gonna separate that, put it out by itself. Um, get your boss up media, Leonardo the Trapio in the building. I mean, uh get your boss up media in the building, shouting out Leonardo the Trapio. I saw my dog Harlem Legend in the building. I'm sure he gone now, but salute to him. Also want to Legend shout out Rap Redo. They did a super chat for $10. Said, appreciate y'all always. The BRC don't want knowledge, bro. The drama is what they rather watch. I'm going to fall back after this hit, man? Oh, God. Nah, oh, hey, nah. Rap Redo, you in the head. I will flip the fucking table over. Then I will come to your house. 
and flip your fucking table over too. Long as the kids ain't sitting there eating dinner and shit. I flip that motherfucker over if you retire. All right? No, None of that shit. None of that shit. All right? We don't retire. We go higher. You feel uh, me? We take I just vacation. made that up. I just made that up. You know what I mean? If you never That's heard it before, too, let me, I'm about to go copyright it. Um, that being said, man, we got to... Um, Bad Money said I'm falling back too. Shut up. Bad Money, I'm about to send you the link, nigga. Nah, Bad Money might be falling back asleep. Don't You don't fall back, though. Yeah, man, bad money. Cut, cut, cut it out. Cut it out. All right, none of that. I'm about to say you like right now. We got, we got, we got, we got like 15 minutes of show left. I, I, you know, if you don't mind, pull up, man. Yeah, pull up. You feel me? Hold on. How I do this? How I do this? How I do this? Bear with me, yeah. Let me get it together. Let me get it together. Um, while I'm doing this, I just wanna uh give a give a real live. Rest in peace to 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 Loaded Lux family. Yeah, you know I mean, um, his brother passed away. It, uh, his his big cousin did an interview on Uncle Rod Channel. My condolences to the family. And fans, he described it, and and he the way he described they Lux and his brother's relationship is a hitman show out relationship. Yeah, you know I mean, and said that uh, you know, he he hurting right now. So you know, yeah. big big prayers and positivity out to Loaded Lux, his whole family, his whole team, Tiff Lux. The uncle that was on the show, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, all that, uh, yeah, salute. BA in the building, just just sent to get your boss up media five dollars just cause for the culture. Well, god damn it, I appreciate it, my nigga. You feel me? That nigga BA is one of the media niggas that ain't nobody gonna slap. That nigga's tall as fuck. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga's that nigga is probably a security guard. I'm not even joking. Like he's he's one of them niggas that. If, you see him, it's like not too many regular jobs he could fucking do. Like, fuck is that nigga gonna do? Like, he can't, he definitely can't work no minimum wage job. Ain't nah. no Popeyes, McDonald's, Walmart. You see a big nigga walking like, yeah, you wanna leave. Get the fuck out of here. RIP Lux people. Shout out to my nigga BA, man. Um, oh, what was you doing? My bad. I done smoke now, y'all. I nigga, man. I ain't new to it. We we just only do this shit every once in a while. We lazy with it, so I'm gonna try to rush through these last little topics. This weekend going down, we got Seg you. I'm gonna be killing Shice for all this weekend. Um, Dre Dennis versus Dub Phenom is the headliner. Y'all see the rest of the card. Shout out to Seg you, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. And then right yeah, after yeah. that, I'm gonna be heading over to this other event we about to talk about. But before we go there. We got to go to Cali. Geechee Gotti versus L Mac. The rap off versus the riot. Very mm. dope card. Next versus Big K. Danny versus my verse. Emerson Kennedy versus Real Sick. Ron mm. Compton versus D Money. I mm. think it's very dope. Yo, somebody in the comments confirm this with me. This D Money nigga. Man, Spiff, you a real nigga. Somebody in the comments asked for the, bat, the, the, the cash app and you sent them my shit. I'd have sent them. I, like, if I was you, I'd have sent. Your shit. <laughs> shit. I, man, I wasn't even thinking. Was, you know it on this, man? Send it to Me my man. This nigga who Geechee, like, burnt and burnt paws, like, burnt on the battle and then turned around and got on Instagram and killed him. Uh, and then said, that. you know what? I'm still going to give you a battle on my league, right? I'm I pretty sure that's that. that nigga. And I think it's fire that he really held true to giving dude a battle on top of the Instagram battle. And Shout all that, that. You know I mean, viral moment, and he got an opportunity out of it. Shout out to Gigi Gotti, uh, Ron Compton. Shout out to Ron Compton, my dog. Then you got Jack versus the spot. So I battle Ron Compton and the spot. Um, so that's dope, man. What you think about that car, Smith? Fire car, man. Fire car. The riot versus the rap off. You already know they both got killers on their side. Gigi and Il Mac been prom promo for this joint heavy. Uh, next been talking about, you know what I'm saying, this battle coming up too, you know what I'm saying, following the champion of the year, Big K and all that. Uh, Danny Myers is just Danny Myers. Anytime he battles, my verse is slowly but surely, uh, you know what I'm saying, being outside a lot more. So I'm anxious to see how that battle go. Emerson Kennedy is outside always real sick. It's real sick always, all pun intended. It's going to be a fire card, man. Shout out Ron Compton and D-Money and Jack in the spot, man. My, fire my verse look, My verse look like 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 a, a warrior, like a beautiful fucking 
video game warrior on this motherfucker. Like she the only nigga in the tropical, she the only female in a tropical jungle with all them fucking niggas with beards and shit. And she just like standing out like all y'all niggas gonna die. I like that. I like that. I like that for her. You feel me? Now, real quick, and it's perfect uh-huh. he pulls up right now. We might, we might gotta, I was trying to stop around 10. We might gotta push this to like 10, 15 real quick. Cause we okay. got somebody real important in the building, especially when it comes to Philly business. You feel me? Ooh. Like, it, like, like Philly niggas like to say, stay out of Philly business. Huh? Well, now we certified. We could talk about Philly business because we got my nigga bad money in the building. Man. Bad money, what's up with you? Man? Tell him why you mad, bad money. Tell him why you mad. Cause man, like niggas be that motherfucking George talking about some Philly shit. <laughs> I'm saying. Stay out of our fucking business, man. Sometimes it's all right. I understand everything is a topic, but sometimes y'all don't know everything, man. Who you talking about? And that's not you, Henny. You know I'm saying because no, you know everything. You, you no, know, who uh who who in Atlanta though? Jersey. Oh, okay. Uh, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was fine. Well, I'm big. I'm I'm hitting like my second hey. J thing. So I don't know if hey. I'm picking up what you're putting down. You feel me? Hey, Spiff, I got a little pocket rocket, and I'm saying that it, if I let that shit go, Henny know what it'll do. Okay, okay, okay. Man, I ain't even gonna say too much. Henny will let you know what that okay. is. But, um, right, it's, so, it's, so I keep it on business this weekend. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely. Oh, uh, shit. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm getting crazy with this shit right now. This All right, we put bad money in the middle. My nigga, bad money is straight out of Philly. He been doing media for year, what, for eight years or so? Nah, not even that long, man. I stopped for like a whole year, probably since like 2018. When was your first time in the year panel? Uh, the 2017 panel, which uh took place in 2018. In okay, January. All right, I bet. All right, somebody said my verse looked like Zane and shit. Yeah, you know I mean, so listen. We not talked about the Ocho Cinco shit. Matter of fact, you hot take shorty, man. If, when it comes to that Twitter timeline, what's, what's, what's the topic of the day that you would like to get off your... Before we talk about this Battle Academy card, what's the topic of the day of something that you really want to get off your chest real quick? Um, I'll say this. I'm saying this is a real topic for the day. Um, and this probably didn't make it around the blog circuit, but I put it in a Twitterverse. I don't think people really making content out of the love situation, um, help the situation because in turn, what happened is they gave the guy the attention he wanted. The subscribers went up. Now his old videos are getting viewed, and guess what he's doing? He's getting ready to start coming at the battle rap bloggers, and they're going to respond. Mm. And I'm you know saying, so if anything, if anything, like you a news channel, you know what I'm saying, so something like that, I expect you to report. You know what I'm saying? As a hey, such and such put a tweet out. I, I, I ain't no exception. If, if if the expectation is for everybody, then that that counts for me. Um, so so we ain't gonna do that. I, I ain't no exception. If that's how you feel, then it gotta apply to me too. But what I will say though is, I was surprised because it was you, you know what I'm saying. This is a valid source. This is like you doing uh, champion of the year all these years, and then you don't do it no more five years from now. You doing that type of shit. You feel me? Sub Zero and Lux was like partners at the beginning. You know what I mean? If niggas know, if niggas watch them jumps and all that yeah. shit, you see Sub Zero on the screen and shit. So it really threw me for a loop. And I know that the mainstream, not the big mainstream, but the M Rex and the, the like the Jordan Towers and them type of niggas, they were going to pick it up anyway because they would follow, they, they follow a Sub Zero more than they follow us. Because of his history with the DVDs, right. and you know what I mean, he was out with Smack DVD, was out with the Come Up DVD. He actually got into it with Big Fendi and shit. You feel me? So, so that that community is still watching him. So, I almost felt responsible to to my community to clarify that type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't put his name in my head or nothing. You know what I mean? But yeah, your news, your your channel, I look at as something different than a typical bloggers channel. So I would expect somebody like you, you know what I'm saying, to report that because of what your content is. You know what I'm saying? I just look at it from a different standpoint. And families being involved in certain situations now, 
they got to explain, you know what I'm saying, that their other family member passed away, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. And that's got to be, you know what I'm saying, people using this, they can Google Loaded Lux Dead on YouTube, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I come from a real place, man. Like, rest in peace, Fat G's, man. Like, Fat G's was from down my neighborhood, like, directly in my neighborhood. A uh, young boy just lost his life, you know what I'm saying? So I think of things from that perspective. Nah, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So now nah, you you right though. You I, I respect what you're saying uh, a lot. And so for that reason, I would hope that it don't get dragged. I would hope that people don't respond to him because he made it too obvious that he was clout chasing anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. He made it too obvious that he was clout chasing. Once once you say something like that and you know you're wrong, you should probably just leave it. You should you should probably leave it there or apologize. You don't try to defend it, you don't try to Go at the people who called you what called you out for what you did. Matter of fact, we giving them too much air time right now. But I'll say this. I'll say this yeah. though, Henny. You watch the video, the nigga is dropping bombs and 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 gunshots in a video talking about somebody dying. I can't give something like that that type of credibility. You understand what I'm saying? We gotta look at the obvious around what he's doing. But we can that's move crazy. on. Nah, that's crazy. I, I didn't watch the whole shit. I didn't watch the whole shit. I, I saw the clips and I went and the clip I used was within the first like minute. Like I didn't even have to look past that because he already had said enough for me. You feel me? Like I'm like, I don't I don't need to listen to the rest of this shit, man. Okay, we can move on though, man. Philly Battle Academy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get it together because it was one more card that I didn't show. And it's this one right here. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Uh, What's this shit say? Mike Masters Alliance presents. And this card is crazy. Spiff, you, you're on mute, I think. B Magic versus the Soros. They mm -hmm. put that at the headline spot. Marv One versus Av. Quest McCody versus Rum Nitty. Real deal versus. Damn, hold up. Yeah. Real deal versus Homes the God. Oh, okay. My bad. I, I mixed my reels up. Real deal. Oh, you thought Real Sick was battling everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm high. Real deal versus Homes the God. 40 bars versus Fendi. And stretch versus Dev the Demon. I think this card is super fucking fire. Yeah, I fuck with it. And I hope that y'all get more in tune with it. I was telling Spiff earlier, it seemed like cards like that, maybe because it's for, to the West Coast, maybe because it's, you know, the, the, the paler males on the on the motherfucking card. People tend to pay less attention to shit like that. But them battle for real. I mean, nah, Spiff, I'm just telling you what I'm telling nah, you. What I know, yeah, I did the That's way what you I told you. That's what I told you. You feel me? So um, all right, now we're gonna start the clip so they don't hear the racist shit I just said. Here we go. Philly Bell. <laughs> nigga pulled his card up. Here we go. The nigga try to cross promote. No bug. Hey, no no <laughs> live in Philly, live in Philly this weekend. That is Philly, yeah, he still got the wrong card. This is my first time battling a female. I hope y'all pull up to that. But if y'all don't pull up to that, definitely pull up to this. We got Philly Battle Academy going down. Chess versus Bill Collector. Tay mm. Rock versus Prep. Snake Eyes versus mm. K Walker. Shotgun Shug mm. versus Top Floor Loop. Miss Hustle versus Shank Prezi. Crush versus Piffy. Mars versus Chunk. Hop versus Bow. I don't know all of them gentlemen at the bottom. I don't know the last two. I can catch the battles and get uh, in tune with them. I don't know the last two, but the rest of the card definitely fire, though. Definitely. Yeah, fine. yeah. All right, so 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 we got a Philly nigga in the building, man. We do this shit called one to ten of who won't win. We're gonna try to do the lightning version of that. You feel me? Um, but you you watch the show with the one to ten of who won't win. Nah, I really ain't been in school, Henry. You know what I've been up to, man. That's I the main reason I've been battle, as far as a one to ten. If you think it's gonna be a one or a ten on the scale, ten being the best, and then you say who won't win. It's re it's really simple yeah. as that. If you want to give a 30 second explanation. Go ahead, do that, and uh, and and if you're wrong, I'm gonna just like cut you off and say you was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but stupid, let's man. let's let's get it though. One and ten of who going when? Uh, if y'all cool, we gonna skip hot versus bow. No, nah, I can talk to them. I can talk yeah, to them because okay. um, okay, those are okay. two of the guys okay. I'm saying that came up through a uh, direct chasing process. I'm saying that stuff like that. And, um. They definitely had some battles on the Academy channel. Um, say how uh, y'all should be surprised by this battle. I give this, this probably might be a seven because both of these niggas is trying to get a spot. You know what I'm saying? With, with the Academy, I'm saying, and they hungry. 
Well, they already on the academy, on the roster, but they're trying to climb the rank, you know what I'm saying, of the academy. So this could be like a seven battle. You know what I'm saying I think um I might got to go with hot one in this draw. Okay, okay. That, that's what I'm hearing. I just saw uh, the predictions on Champion. Uh, they said hop as well. I'm looking for the battle. Uh, I know Top Floor Mars versus Chunk. Yeah, you know I mean that's Top Floor. Shout out to shout out to Big Top Floor. Shout out and then floor. Chunk is the right boy with uh, Knox in the two on two. They went crazy. Hey, out man, that was my first time. Uh, seeing what, 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 what you got on that one though, uh, Madman? Um, hey man, shout out to the Battle Academy, man. Like I got, you know what I'm saying close knit relationships with a lot of those guys. Um. Top floor Morris has something to say about Chuck's last performance on the battle, Kevin. Um, and I think um he's gonna let him know how he felt about that performance on the battle academy. I'm saying in the outcomes of that performance. So I think um Mars is going in there with a strategy, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know exactly what his strategy is. Um give this battle eight. I'm gonna go with Mars. Shout out Mars. Shout out Chunk and shout out Mars, both of them. I, I, I've seen more of Mars battles than uh than Yeah, Chunk, and, Chunk, and Chunk I, I would like, to see, I would like to see Mars win as well, because Mars got a, a great energy um, that I feel like if he start powering up in battle rap, it's, it's a good look. It's going to be a good look for battle rap. If you really start to put that shit together, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like one of them, he one of them big, tall... I, mean, I don't think Mars yeah. got like five battles in yet. That's the yeah. scary part is that he's, he's still early. Rapping. He's still like early. I don't even think he has five battles, bro. You know I'm saying that he was good to you. So. Yeah, we gonna see him. if he if he power up, he gonna be in there with the Shugs and the yeah you know I man all that time. It's just naturally gonna happen. Yeah, you know I mean like he 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 got the heavyweight feel, believability, all that type of shit. He just gotta uh, meet his potential. Yeah, you know I mean. Uh, the other dude, I only seen him in that two on two, so I really can't speak on him too much as far as what his own pin could do. But if he, if he anything like that, he gonna be dope though, man. You know what I mean? Uh, Crush versus Piffy. What you got? I'm going with Crush. Yeah. Okay. Just prefer Crush. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Better. Especially going off that last two on two. Was 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 crushed the dude with that ran ran down on us after the last event that was talking talking battle rap crazy? Mm -hmm. I think a so. That, that was awesome. Shout out to him. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to him. I just seen that clip. I just seen that clip. Really the day. <laughs> Shout out to him. Yeah. So my uh my I'm going with crush because we went to war before. Yeah, definitely. Really simple as that, man. We went to war before. So I'm gonna ride with him. Um, what else we got? This nigga, he gonna keep I, letting y'all. He gonna keep letting y'all know he battled. No, I don't know what's. Uh, listen, I don't know what's going on, man. I I gotta stop smoking. But when I gotta push the buttons, I can't be smoking this shit. I'm over here smoking. I'm drinking. I'm in my phone. I'm doing like 18 different motherfucking things. But I want to do this just to have it on record. Miss Hustle. Versus Shank Prezi. Talk to him. Mm. There's some interesting developments in the uh, Miss Hustle versus Shank Prezi today. I'm saying, I don't know if LTBR quoted this, but I was in there. You know what I'm saying, and she said, uh, she only rapped for four minutes. If you rap anything past four minutes, she's walking off the stage. I'm saying, and um, yeah. I don't know. I guess they had some discrepancies about the time. I'm saying she was mentioning that in the spaces or whatnot conversation she had with him. Um, we'll see how that plays out, man. Um, it's a big opportunity for President just uh went down and I'm saying performed um for URL, you know what I'm saying, at um the crucibles or whatnot. And I'm saying from what I'm hearing, like he did real good at the crucible. So yeah, Prezi is my. I'm. I, I scouted Prezi too, man. So shout out to Prezi shout for making Prezi, me look good as a scout and all that for sure. Um, knowing what Prezi can do, knowing what Husk could do, this is a one round battle. Um, I'm gonna say she can go one way, either way. You know what I'm saying? Right now, Hustle is my woman of the year for 2023. Hey, Slim, she definitely cooking out here. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, People can say jazz and this person and all that, but you really look at the body of work that Hustle really put on last year. 
You know what I'm saying? And, um, she's fresh off a dead body. I'm saying less than a week ago. Um, so you know she's a little bit motivated. You know what I'm saying so. I don't think she's gonna come in there sleeping on Presley or you know what I'm saying playing it around with Presley. I would hope not. But um, I don't know. I want to see how things gonna go with this time discrepancy and if she walk off if he go past the minute mark. You know what I'm saying? But I want to see Prezi get his moment. So this could be one one either way. It's hard to call a one round battle. But yeah, no, it's just like, I want Prezi to win. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh man, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like this could definitely go either way. Hustle got the ability because he's such a stupid starter to take over a crowd. You know what I mean? To like yeah. regardless if it's your home crowd or what, I feel like Hustle just got that ability. Yeah, you know I mean, I feel like Prezi, wow. He's super motherfucking fire to me. Philly's definitely fucking with Prezi too. You feel me? This battle is is gonna only go as far as how serious Hustle takes it. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean that's the best yeah. way I can say. It. That's it. If, if she comes in there like, nah, I'm about to be on my bully. Yeah, you know I mean she could definitely be on her bully just because she's great at taking over crowds and and straight star power could could dominate. You feel me? Because it's not like uh Prezi not like a bark on you, get like he 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 don't do all that type of shit. You feel me? Right. But but if she slipped for a second to Prezi in his hometown, he's gonna he's gonna capitalize on yeah. it. So, I get this battle with eight, you know what I'm saying the hustle coming there, you know what I'm saying? Serious. She, we never say hustle not coming there, you know what I'm saying? Serious. You don't play with nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I get this battle like an eight. I'll speak you guys. What's in uh now nah, I mean y'all pretty much said the same thing, man. Prezi fire, you know what I'm saying? If hustle coming in and take it serious, I think with the, the 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 champion of the year joint from last year, I think everybody's starting to realize that every battle count. Small league, big league, one round, three round, whatever. You know what I'm saying? What you don't want to do is lose one of these joints and then have that come up in your champion of the year, woman of the year conversation, like, oh, but you lost to such and such, or you slipped up or this, that, and the third. So I think factoring that in the run that hustle on, she ain't got no choice but to take it serious. And I think she will because she always do, like y'all said. So this 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 could definitely be one of the ones. I definitely give it about an eight. And I can't really pick a winner because Prezi get crazy and hustle was hustle. Yeah, this this could be a sleeper battle at night. Sure. Yeah, it really, it really, it really put it like this. Basically, what I'm saying is. Uh, Prezi gonna have a stock rising performance regardless, in my opinion. He's gonna have a stock yeah, rising performance yeah. regardless. He he know that he got the URL crucible thing. This would be a great look to put him ahead of the line just as far as the eyes on him and all that. He's gonna, regardless of what hustle shows up, he's gonna have a stock rising performance. You know what I mean? Now, what hustle shows up is very important and how the overall battle goes. You know what I mean? So salute to that. And we'll we'll see how it play out. We'll see how it play out. Um, shotgun should versus top floor loot. I watched that face off today. Shout out to yeah. those boys, man. It don't seem like should coming in there to play no games. And I gotta stress this real quick. Love, love, and love is dropping. A, a, well, overall, they they donated a lot, probably about half of this spitters pot. But the spitters pot in total, the Battle Academy spitters pot, is up to three thousand dollars. I saw that. Yeah. The winner gets the winner gets it all. The the, the, the performer tonight gets it all. Yeah, that's just, off. that's just off live donations, bro. Just from them going live, I'm saying on the YouTube channel and chopping it up with the people. You know what I'm saying, and people donating to this card and who's going to be the best rapper on this card, and all proceeds going to the rappers that incentivizes battle rap. You know what I'm saying they get people something to look forward to. You know what I'm saying when they going in there, like oh, like when it's like when Black is chanting in the night. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was trying to win this. You know what I'm saying? So, but not facts. Yeah. Oh shit! Hold up, my bad. Somebody sent the uh, Luke Kane. Oh, Luke Kane. I think Luke Kane from out of uh, Chicago, I believe. Just sent the uh, good looking G for good for Luke Kane. Good. See, I don't know if that's for shell shock. I told you that nigga just be having people send money, man. I don't know. I don't know if that's the nigga who. <laughs> I don't know if there's a nigga Ooh. who asked for the cash out or if that's. <laughs> Man, you know, that's how you know Henny getting too much money. Spent. Yeah, he just don't. He don't know where the money coming from. I, I found an yeah. extra ten thousand and back there. I just <laughs> tripped over that. If you want, you know, yeah, some old jeans and shit. No bullshit. I was washing my hat. 
<laughs> uh, Suga and Luke gonna be a good battle. I like the conversation um they had in the face off. That face off was a lot better than I expected it to be. Yeah. Um, I think this is the perfect opponent for both of them. You know what I'm saying? Like um, like what Suge does matched up against what Luke does. You know what I'm saying? It's a great combination. You know what I'm saying style. -wise. You know I'm saying they don't rap nothing alike, but they styles complement each other. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So. I get this battle a, a nine out of ten, if not a ten. I'm saying this is a good battle. This is a potential battle of the night. Um, I'm going with Top Floor Luke, dog. Like Luke's a real dude, man. Like before Luke was even battle rapping, like I knew about Luke. You know what I'm saying and, and who Luke was and shit like that. Luke's only been battle rapping since like his second year. You know what I'm saying? Really like taking this shit serious. I'm saying so. Knowing that Luke was moving how he was moving, you know what I'm saying, before he come in the battle rap, you know what I'm saying, and then him still doing the same shit, you know what I'm saying, and still showing his lifestyle and shit like that and being himself, more importantly, like, I'm always going to see that dude win, you know what I'm saying, so I got Luke, man. Yeah. Might be top floor bias on this card, man. Shout out, shout out top floor Luke, man. I've definitely been in tune with his battles since he's been battling, and Slim definitely, you know what I'm saying, embodies that 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 shit he talking about you know what i'm saying from from the from the look to the swag to the to the, to, to the message and the raps and it's like that's that shit that should known for too you know what i'm yeah. saying so so suge is not a bad person to have on your resume it's actually great and then you know what i'm saying suge gonna bring in views so this is this is luke chance to be like i belong in this shit and then you know what i'm saying it's only to the top <laughs> all pun intended after that you know what i'm saying yeah. so I got I I got Luke too, man. Shout out to Suge. Suge is always Suge every single time. What's your life like? Let's get one thing straight. But I feel like this is the battle where, like, I feel like Top Floor Luke and Prezi is in the same situation where it's like this battle with Hustle could really do things for Prezi and this battle with Suge could really do things for Luke to where it's like, you know what I'm saying, they got the ability to call niggas out after this if, if they do good and then they could stand on that like, nah, check my last work. I'm here. Also, something I gotta point out, man, before Henny go. Um, Shug don't look like Shug in Philly. Mm. You know I'm saying like, I can run down a that list of true. battles. That ain't true. That ain't true. Shug, yeah. and, and that's what I was about to get into anyway. Shug, go ahead, because I can run Shug the battles Shug down, Henny. Ah, Shug, yeah. Shug don't give us full Shug in Philly. That's that, and that's what I was about to say. I haven't seen him give us that shit. My, my nigga Spiff just said, uh. Suge always should. That's not true. Suge will give you. Shug, Shug, you know how A verb got A verb and pay verb? Suge got uh, pay Suge sometimes. You know what I okay, mean? And most okay. of the times it's with the non URL Jones. And sometimes it used to be like a days ago with the. But when you get the shotgun Suge, when he shows up, I think he feeds off the energy surrounding the battle. So me seeing him do the face off and shit like that. And me hearing him say, oh, nah, boom, 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 it make me know that he going to do different than what he did versus uh, Hank Diggs out here in the DMV. This ain't no this ain't no battle that's just going to hit YouTube, but nobody really heard about it. Just kind of sneak and drop on YouTube. Nah, people paying attention to this motherfucker. And it's an extra three racks at the end of the night. And Suge like, Shug likes tangible accolades. That, that money at the end of the night, that's a tangible accolade. That changes the the... the Feel for this battle for me, man. Um, I, I, I went to war with top top floor Luke in Philly. You know what I mean? So that make me just automatically want to see him win and see him shine in this situation. You know what I mean? So the because we just agreed that Suge don't be consistent in Philly, even though I predict this is going to be different, I got to see it. I know how bad Luke want this. I don't know how bad uh, Suge want this until he show me. Yeah, you know I mean, so with that being said, right now I got Luke. But if Suge show up, similar to Hustle, if Suge show up, full star power on on blast, what is life like and all that? It is yeah. this could be this could be because these guys are so young in their career. This could be a learning lesson for both of them niggas. You know what I mean? It it could right. be. A, it could be if, if these shotgun Suge and the Miss Hustle show up, 
it could be a learning lesson and still a stock rise of performance because people are going to be saying, yo, but that nigga did bop, 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 bop. But they're right. going they right. to position to learn right now, too, though. Yeah, and um, you might just say it should doesn't do good in Philly because I'm being top floor biased. I mean, I got the battles to point it out. I see in my own eyes. I was front row for JC. You know what I'm saying? I was front row for A Ward. You know what I'm saying? Like the Vaca battle, he didn't look like shit. You know what I'm saying? And Vaca wasn't that good, and Vaca won that battle. Mm. You know what I'm saying I think he do oh, got yeah. one win against somebody in Philly. I think maybe have did he Rosenberg in Philly? Have, have you seen Shug somewhere other than Philly though? Yeah, like have in New you, York. You went in to New York. York. You saw him in New York, and you think that's yeah. the same. And you it's, think it's a same? different, it's a different sugar. In order to win this battle, he really yeah, yeah. got okay, yeah. yeah, to take the crown from loot. He got to take the crown from loot. You know what I'm saying, like, make no mistake about it. Like, I'm mean, saying, a, a fan of the biggest baby loke on the street. You know what I'm saying, regardless of me and Suge going back and forth on Twitter, like, I'm a shock man, Suge fan, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I want to see him do good, but not against the nigga, you know what I'm saying, who who I knew before he was battle rapper. Man, listen, it's 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 too <laughs> sure. I mean, we're gonna move on because I'm I'm trying I'm trying to get through this, but I like I love to talk battle rap though. But uh it's it's two shugs though. You got the shug this what is life like when he's doing this with his shoulders and he and he punching right. every other line, and then you got the shug that you could tell. He trying to remember it because he like looking down like and don't like he not he not he not betting that he he some 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 you got them two different shoes man so hopefully we mm -hmm. get to pardon my back let me shrug my shoulders you know what <laughs> I mean that that well, hopefully we get that shit look man, if I pick the right one this time nigga yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, got, we got three to go through I'm gonna just say mine quick man Snake Eyes versus K Walk I went to war with both of these guys. In yeah. Philly, I feel like K Walker got something to prove. I'm hearing he want to win the Spitters pot, but I also know the Snake Eyes don't want to lose because people say he lost his last like three battles, so he got something to prove. They're going to go to fucking war. I don't know who to pick because I battled both of them, but but this battle is it, going to be battle with a knife for me. Probably mm. battle with. A, I, I got this being battle with a knife. I got this being battle with a knife, and I don't want to say who going to lose. Yeah, you know I mean, that's it. I killed it. Which y'all got? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Shout out Snake. You know, Snake don't duck no wreck. Snake uh, Snake a battle the door like it's loaded Lux just to feel like he fucked this door. You know what I'm saying? Like Snake one of them. But K Walker Slim, like K Walker don't really do a lot of a lot of shit talking. K Walker, one of them niggas like, I'm gonna see you when I see you, and and, and it's up. You know what I'm saying? And and K Walker, in my opinion, been cooking shit, man. Like the last event they had with the New York versus Philly joint, I think, on the easy car. Like since then, he been like, "Oh nah, I'm a, I'm I'm gonna show y'all niggas. Like y'all stop playing with my name out here. I'm 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 him for a reason." You know what I'm saying? It's obviously two different styles. Then you got to factor in the home field advantage too, man. I don't know, man. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a slight edge to K Walker, but both of them gonna get crazy because the promo for this jump been been going for a minute. You know, Snake don't like to lose even the promo. So yeah, lost to me about bad money. What you got? <laughs> um, and shout out to K Walker. Um, another dude who's come up. You know what I'm saying I watched this in the Philly Underground from two walks in the street and shit like that. Um, Snake guys, it's Snake guys. He's been selling a battle, but the yeah. thing is, Snake guys ain't been winning no battles. A good year and a half. I don't know how Tony Brown them snuck him even on the 2022 champion of the year um list. I sat there and I was the only person that was trying to make sense of it. Um I'll say this about this particular battle. Um K Walker raps his ass off, right? That's that. And he's going in there with guys where all he has to worry about is rapping his ass off. Now he's got a guy where he can go in there and wrap his ass off and he's got a ton of angles he can use. Mm. So at this point in time, I'm thinking you can see a career performance from K Walker in this battle. Going with K Walker to win this battle. Um nine and a half out of ten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as opponents and matchups. Battle with a night. I gotta be in battle with a night. I gotta be in battle with a night and I got them splitting the pot. And I got bad money. 
don't like snake eyes for some reason. I don't know. I, that, 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 that's, just, that's just what I do. No, no, I'm just honest about my opinion of what I observe, man. Like, nah, nah, I'm, talking about after, as a I'm not talking about as a person. I'm talking about like he not your cup of tea as a battle. It seems like. No, it's just I'm being honest. He's been losing battles. Like he's a good battle rapper. I watch his battles, but he has not been winning battles as, as of late. If he's being honest, he's been winning in promotions. Okay. Uh, hey, that's fair, though. That's fair. That guy's been doing a lot on the internet lately. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so got, keep in mind winning. that with his... Like, I'm going to say this on his behalf. You got winning, then you got winning. Like, you got, right. you, got, you got the winning in the ring, the shit that don't matter no more anyway, and then you got the winning by staying booked and staying in people's face and becoming a character of the culture, which means that you have a role in the storyline now. And Snake Eyes got a role in the storyline. It'd be great if he started getting some clear wins. So, you know what I mean? That, that's, that, that's his plot. That's part of his storyline. You know what I mean? Because like I said in my prediction, there's a lot of people but, saying he's been losing battles, so you're not by yourself. Yeah, but at some point, it's cool to keep staying booked and all of that, but you got to start with it. You have to start winning, you know what I'm saying? Or you become the punching bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, at one point in time, like, certain dudes that was gatekeepers was just opening a gate for niggas to walk through. You understand what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, like, I like Snake Eyes content and shit like that. He's a good battle rapper, but I don't got him beating K. Walker. You know what I'm saying? And I got to look at what's been going on outside of the ring as well. And the fact that Besides the angles that have been put on you over the past couple years, that's in the last two months. You put other angles on yourself for a wider of K Walker's caliber to be able to use. And I'm saying, well, like, where do I think Snake Eyes are going to this battle with the approach of I'm on a higher tier to you? you know what I'm saying that's it. And K Walker can be like, nigga, I was on BET. The fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So well, you know what I, I think uh I think is when it comes to tears, it's funny because I think that I think that we're all on the same tier. Like I think it's a independent tier. Like you got low tier, right. mid tier, top tier, and then you got this independent tier of niggas who just be floating around, staying booked all over the country, and all kind of have battled each other. Like like you got me, Snake Eyes, K Walker, uh, Gwitty is probably in there. It's uh, it's a cup, it's a couple of other names I can name that's kind of just in that independent tier now yeah some some people are more battle tested or got more accolades you know what i mean but it ain't but you see who they end up looking eye to eye with to talk shit with and all that type of shit maybe you could throw xl in the mix you know what i mean uh because he's battled me he's battled snake eyes he's battled you know what i mean so I mean, snake just dropped today yeah I, I watched that jump this morning one of the first things i did this morning i was waiting for that drink to drop you know what i mean so and, and xl won that battle pretty clear by the way uh, but I do think Snake won the third, though. I don't. I don't think it was a three zero like everybody said. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. When it comes to tears, when it comes to tears, they the same tier to me, in my opinion. You know what I mean? He's he's just more decorated. I'll say this right, um, and we could probably shoot to the next battle after this. Yeah, it's important to be in a conversation. But what conversation is being had about you in the within the conversation? Just saying. No, that's fine. KD, KD is an independent tier. I feel what you're saying. I feel what you're saying. But I'm going to throw one name at you. That's that's kind of going to destroy that, though. Who that? Daylight. Daylight. Uh, one, one, one of the best ever when he was in the ring <laughs> rapping. But he got his he, – he blew up from bullshitting, losing on purpose, and telling other niggas you should lose too. You feel <laughs> nah. me? You so, should lose too. Uh, you know what I mean? So there is a lane for losing and still uh brand growth. <laughs> losing and still there winning. Is a lane for that. I, <laughs> bad money like bad money like, yeah, but I don't like that losing ass shit though. No niggas bullshit. gotta win. Oh <laughs> man. Cause man, niggas yeah. got put the hell out of here for losing, bro. Rich Dollars was gone. He was losing, he was good, but that nigga was losing. He is gone. No, you got Newborn was I'm good. Not, he was losing. He is gone. Like I be winning and they still don't like me. But Snake Eyes, if everybody say he be losing, but the people are captivated by him. 
That's just the, that's just the fact of the that's just the fact of the matter. It's not about his in the ring performance at that point. People look at the battle as a byproduct of his energy. They, so they, what's more they, 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 you know, the same guy's battle. You're already invested. The battles that he don't promote, nobody cares about. Are you more invested? Or not you per se, but the people, they're more invested in a promotion that leads up to the battle. You know what I'm saying? And the jumping on yeah, 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 interrupting yeah, yeah. and leaving one, and coming back. Are they about, more you know, one thing about life? Everybody think battle rap is such a different thing than life. People be like, There's so many weirdos in battle rap. No, so many weirdos in the fucking world. Why should battle yeah. rap be different? You know what I mean? Same thing with um what what, what you just said. The, the, uh, his are, are you looking at it because of the promotion? What you just say, how did you word it? Because I, I wanted to word I'm like, saying, like What's more captivating, the promotion or the actual content that you're getting in the ring? I mean, what, what's more accessible? Niggas promote every day for months. So yeah, but when the battle is over, I'm not going to go back to your promotion. Watch this nigga talk shit for months. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, but when the battle is over, I'm going back to the battle. I'm not going to go back to the promotion exactly. unless somebody exactly. ready to clip something up and put it on, you know what I'm saying, Twitter. Only if you felt the buildup. For real though, you know what I mean? Only if you felt the buildup, niggas, niggas ain't just going back to just any old snake eyes battle or in battle period. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I can't say that because sometimes I still go back to snake eyes and uh ace face off or go back to other people's face offs. But I'm just saying, I'm saying the, the in the ring performance and the wins and the wins have to, I'm saying, equal up to the promotion at the end of the day for snake eyes. And he got to make it start coming together here in this K Walker battle. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah, I respect that. So bad money don't fuck with uh snake eyes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. This nigga gonna nah, find man, a way to hey, sum it all up to. to I just be bullshit, man. Yeah, okay, nigga, bullshit, man. man. We, and it's, all it's all loud, dog. It's all you know. Work jokes. Work jokes, man. You know, niggas that's not quitting this shit. Tay Rock versus Prep, Merlin versus Merlin. Let's go, man. Let's ah, go, man. man. Hey, man, listen. Hey, your left hey, shoulder fighting with your right shoulder right now. Merlin versus Merlin. What you got? Hey, man, listen. Tay Rock is on one of them runs, man. You know what I'm saying? Prep is it's obviously a one round joint. If Prep goes second, that kind of changes a lot because we seen Prep going in battle. Chunk and Knox with with no round because his partner wasn't it, and he still was able to shake the room with the freestyles and maybe some shit he had left over from a couple battles ago or whatever. So if Prep goes second, it changes the whole dynamic of the battle. But that don't mean that Rock ain't gonna come in that joint with a hundred guns, with a hundred switches, with a hundred clips in, just because Rock is Rock and Rock second home is damn near philly so rock might be more at home than prep for real and prep battle academy right yeah so i mean but with all that being said i got rock if rock goes second and i got rock if rock go first hey bad money you like you like you like <laughs> Hey, listen, peep this though. Peep this. That was some smooth shit. That was some smooth shit, Smith. I can't hear a lot. Hey, peep this. I, I got. Uh, you want to go bad money or you want me to go? Uh, you go ahead, Henny. All right. All right. Damn. I was trying to stall. All right. Uh, I got. I, this is my thing. Rock just did an interview where he basically said every battle up till A War is a, I saw that. Uh, is a run through. It's like a, you know what I mean? It's like a, like a, walk through or whatever he's not like really taking it super thing. serious he's you know he gonna do him but his focus is on a what he said yeah you know i mean prep on the other hand seemed offended that he would have so many battles and people still think that he's gonna like prep like you see all the battles he got surrounding me y'all think that i'm coming in there to lose you know he seemed like he really got something to prove i love this battle yeah, you know I mean, yeah. nah, this I, I love this battle. I love this battle on the Battle Academy. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't think Rock realizes that how much Prep wants to win this battle. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean, I don't think that. Now that being said, this is still a situation similar to Shotgun Should, similar to Miss Hustle, except this is Prep. So it's you know, it's it's, it's not the same as far as star power. Prep is a star in his own right, but 
if he the only thing prep got in this battle is the element of surprise. People not even expecting him to beat Rob. Yeah, you know I mean, but that nigga's at home writing to defeat Rock like a motherfucker right now. Know it, he right, knows right that now. Rock. He knows that Rock is, is like only on defense. He ain't even trying to swing hard. You know what I mean, he's saving the best shit he write for a war. Yeah, prep trying to get his prep trying to get a, a stat off this joint right here. You, you know, know what I mean? Yeah. But if Tay Rock write a five minute AMG, he won the battle. You know what I mean? Prep has also had the ability to over angle and say shit that people don't want to hit. People don't care about it. You know what I mean? He he probably he thought it was gonna hit at home, but when he get there, the angle, people are like, yo, what is, what made you use that rhyme? You know what I mean? So what made you go with that? Rhyme? Hopefully he stick if he's if prep sticks to rap, <clears throat> he's coming to kill Tay Rock. And if Tay Rock sleep, he can lose this fucking battle. But under just normal circumstances, you look at it on paper, Tay Rock all day. I was about to say, man, who you got, bro? Because you went to the store, came back, made dinner, watched yeah. the movie. Like, yeah, all right, okay, yeah, all right. Nacho, nachos tonight. Nacho, I made it. <laughs> 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 that was bullshit. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. It's Merlin, bro. I know, you right. That money. Talk I, got, to I got Merlin for the win. That's that's my pick. Um, I think this battle might get personal. I just hope it's no almost fight. No. type situation in it and i say this based off of the fact that this is some maryland shit bro i'm saying i don't know how cool rock and prep are you guys go to a, a lot more events than i do you know what i'm saying so y'all can probably attest to this more yeah, than me you know what i'm saying but um just the simple fact that rock is going to be comfortable in philly and prep is going to be comfortable in philly this is a big opportunity for Prep. You know what I'm saying Prep has had plenty points in his career. He was up here, you know what I'm saying, and he was the next new nigga. You know what I'm saying, and shit like that. And then he choked on USF. You know what I'm saying, and then we had the Chilla Jones battle situation. I think Prep was pretty good versus John John on rookie's version. Of that. Had John John winning and all that, but Prep has some highs in his career. You know what I'm saying, where he really should have been one of them niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and with this being a one round of battle. You know what I'm saying? Um, against an opponent like Tay Rock, and after having a performance he just had, you know what I'm saying, in the in the two on two, the two on one. Um I think Prep is coming to show off, man. You know what I'm saying? I think there's like an S Wood versus Baltimore conversation to be had here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that that's that's what I'm looking for in this battle. There's punch lines. There's bars, you know what I'm saying? There's angles and all that. This is an Edgewood versus Baltimore conversation. You know I'm saying that's going to be had this battle with him. Uh, talk that murder. And that's murder, 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 what murder, murder, I'm murder, interested murder, murder. in let's seeing. Be let's, be, let's be clear. It's no Edgewood versus Baltimore. With respect to Edgewood, it's, it's Baltimore versus Tay Rock. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, like, just, just, this has I a, didn't want to go that far. I didn't want to go that. It's Baltimore versus, and I'm not saying it's in real life. It's Baltimore. <laughs> I'm saying that Prep's angle, if he does use that, is nigga, you're not from Baltimore, and maybe you never claimed it, but you you let these people say it or think it, or and you're not from Baltimore. I'm really from Baltimore. Yeah, you know I mean, and then you, you had the, the the stuff that was in the media last year with murder and all. That. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And then yeah, we're taking yeah. a couple of people up champion. So these are angles that prep is going to take uh, I want now, prep to now, over now, angle now, like y'all was saying. I want to say this. Those are just angles and I hope prep don't overly spend time on that. Paint your picture right. get the fuck out of there exactly. because at the end of the day, like I said, it's no Baltimore versus Edgewood, but it's other tough places in Maryland and Baltimore. Edgewood is probably one of them. You know what I mean? Edgewood is probably one of them. It's not renowned. As, that's why I said it's no Baltimore versus Edgewood because Baltimore going to win if we just talking about Yo, who more hood? Who got more killings? Who got this? Who got who got more truck? Baltimore's gonna win that over most cities in America. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. y'all was the first murder cat. Yeah, you feel you know me? So that's what I'm saying. So yeah. it's, it's no, it's no, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's gonna be a Baltimore nigga versus a Maryland nigga that's not from Baltimore. You know what I mean? And, right. and he's gonna talk to him like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but and, still and, all, you and, get that, you get what I'm mean, saying, getting that. You get what I'm getting at. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about the recent events that I'm saying in the media. And you know what I'm saying the, the demographic conversation 
as well. You know what I'm saying? I just hope prep don't over angle. You know what I'm saying? To try to do too much in this battle. You know what I'm saying? To where it like takes away from being direct. You know what I'm saying? With Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? And trying to outwrap Tay Rock. Nobody who goes in there trying to angle Tay Rock to death beats Tay Rock. You got to rap better than Tay Rock to beat Tay Rock. And I really hope prep understands that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't bet against T Rock though. <laughs> I'm saying, Rock, I got Prep doing very good. I don't think Prep is gonna get bodied. I got Rock edging this joint out. You know what I'm saying, and this could be a dog fight. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm gonna keep it real though, uh, and, and we gonna move on. But Battle Academy do got a new love for Prep after his last performance though. Hell yeah, you know I mean? yeah. After his last performance, I mean, but but. Me being privy to certain things, like Stiz has been saying, prep is battle academy since like last fucking winter. Now, yeah, he, yeah, 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 yeah. He got, you know what I'm saying? He, he's been right. getting embraced by the battle academy. It's just, you know what I'm saying, you know, the whole wreck chase and shit, you know what I'm saying, was the move last year as far as what battle academy was doing, bringing the streets back together, you know what I'm saying, and getting the love back from the streets, you know what I'm saying, like literally, you know what I'm saying, and doing free stuff and Pulling up in front of the most popular cheesesteak place in Philadelphia and shooting a battle, you know what I'm saying? Type stuff. Cuban was this, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But um, now you know what I'm saying with the big event, they're trying to show prep like like we look at you like that. We're gonna put you, you know what I'm saying, on the big event. You know what I'm saying we're back outside, outside, and you got Mister Outside. Yeah. How about that? You know what I'm saying they could have gave Presley the rock. You know what I'm saying? They gave, you know what I'm saying, rock to uh, what's it called, Prep. So, and then we got Chess versus Bill Collector. You know what? I feel like the same thing that y'all was saying about how Prep is in his bag to to kill Rock. I feel like Bill Collector is in that same bag. You know what I'm saying? Bill Collector. You know what I'm saying? Won the tournament or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He outside for anybody, anytime, but he still got that chip on his shoulder. Like, he feel like he belong in the conversation with certain people that he not in the conversation with, you know what I'm saying? And he feel like this is his chance to solidify that. Whatever league is on, however many rounds it is, either I'm going to rap and he going to rap or he going to rap and I'm a rapper. Y'all going to hear me and, and against chess. I feel like he feel like this is a chance to be like I told y'all niggas. I've been telling y'all niggas, but now I, I really told y'all and I really showed y'all. And then, you know, Chess coming off the hustle battle, you know what I'm saying? Chess is back in the if box again. You know what I'm saying? We, we over here call it the if factor. You know what I'm saying? If he don't stumble, choke, or throw up, or if he could get through his material. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? And I guarantee that he probably took the hustle battle more seriously, he would have took Bill on disrespect to Bill, but you know he felt like it probably meant more over there. So yeah. hopefully, hopefully he redeemed himself on getting through his material and being fired, and hopefully he look at Bill the same way he look at Hustle or anybody else that's top tier. Like, nah, Slim, you're not about to make an example out of me. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I'm gonna go with the with the shocker, the bracket breaker. I'm I'm, I'm gonna go with Bill. Slim, I ain't gonna hold y'all. And I'm I got I'm gonna go, go build too, man. Consistency, okay. man. That, that's bottom line. I, I ain't got I, yeah. I ain't gotta say much. You know what I mean? You you covered a lot of ground with your response, and Chess just did what he did last week. So I don't got a lot of reason to say he's gonna win. He do got the ability to show that star power, take over the yeah. battle and all that. You know what I mean? But we just gotta see it, man. We just gotta see it. And I would love to see it. You know what I mean? Apparently, this must be a three-round battle because Stead said it's only two two-round battles on this card. He said it was Tay Rock battle and Miss Hustle battle. So Chess versus Bill must be a three round battle. Oh, I you know, know that. So, you know, I, I, yeah. I got Bill winning. Yeah. You know, way more so consistent that, MC, and yeah, that's it's that's in that's his that's hometown, that. so to speak. So yeah, <clears throat> bad money. What you got? Um, shout out to Bill, man. Bill is like the one battle rapper I actually will talk to on the phone. You know what I'm saying or whatnot. I talked to Bill for this whole tournament run. Um. For King of the Dot, actually, even before the tournament started, I know why he approached that tournament the way he did. Um, in a situation like this, this is a battle. I'm saying I, I know Bill's been wanting for a minute. You know, what I'm saying low key without him even telling me that. Just his style wise, 
I know this is a battle. You know what I'm saying? He's won it. Um, looking at things, Bill has still been well rested. You know what I'm saying? And you got to look at what he did to bad news well rested. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bill's not been taking a whole bunch of battles and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Leading up to the chess battle. He did just have a clean battle. Um, I actually see that. You know what I'm saying? On Black Ice. You know what I'm saying? Shopping them. Um, but I think Bill Bill's super prepared for him. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes he, he'll add some extra shit in. You know what I'm saying? I believe. So I believe he already been clipped up, you know what I'm saying? Because of the simple fact that he's had some time off and whatnot, and his battle's been booked for a little minute. And the fact of the matter is, Chester did something last week that gave Bill a whole new post to take going into the battle. You know what I'm saying? So I think you're going to get a mix of comedic Bill. You're going to get a mix of, you know what I'm saying, serious Bill. And you're going to get a mix of double bar Bill, man. Um, I got Bill taking his 2-1. You know what I'm saying? If, if Chest coming there slow enough or not taking Bill serious, he is going to die in that building. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a that's a good uh, – ask Miss Hustle. She on a victory tour. That's a good name to have put a body next to. Pause. I don't know how else to say that. Like, you know what I mean? If you, if you body Chest – Cause this is about to turn into a bomb. I'm a battle rapper, so now I want to turn it into a bomb. But nah, like if you defeat if you defeat Chess convincingly, that that's correct. a good thing to have on your record. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah. yeah. Uh but hopefully Chess comes in there a little bit more prepared, a little bit less less whatever makes him uh do that. I think that he will, man. Um I think we're gonna have a good ass battle, but but Bill's still the more consistent MC for three rounds. Yeah, you know I mean, so I'm gonna run with Bill, yeah. and I think we gonna, I think we gonna end that shit there. What's y'all battle with tonight, though? Um, man, I got a couple, man. It's def- it's definitely between Sugar and Luke, uh, Prep and Rock, and um, damn, I know, I know Walker won't get crazy too. I think I it's gonna be know, big guys and Walker, man. And it's I, probably because I, I went to war with both. It's probably because I went to war with both of them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I battle, I battle. We're not even going to talk about our conversation after your K Walker battle. Huh? <laughs> We're not even going to talk about our conversation after the K Walker battle. Hey, listen, you see, this I got these didn't even recognize me right? in the crowd, bro. You didn't even recognize me in the light. Like, hey, hey, listen, hey, he called me with my shades on. He said something to me. I thought it was just a random Philly nigga and shit at first when he first said this shit. So then I'm like, I was like, oh, bad money. Oh, man, stop fucking. What you say to me, though? Tell no, I was like, yo, I was, I was breaking down the rounds, and I was like, I got, and I was like, came down to the third. I got you edging the third. You was like, but you from Philly, though. I'm like, nigga, what is that, man? I just, I think I think I got you winning the battle. What are you talking I mean, about? I was like, yeah, it is me. I, I didn't know it was bad money at the time. I'm, 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 I don't know if you know, but I'm blind. So I said that shit, but I don't know if you remember. I, I think I walked away and came Damn back and said, "Oh, bad money! That was you that said that shit." I was like, "No, oh, I went man. to the bar to get a drink. I seen you at the end of the night, and you was like, man, I knows you the whole fucking time." Oh yeah, yeah. That's but that's why I said yeah, it was that, like bro. I didn't know that was you earlier. Oh shit! But oh, I got fat. Yeah, that's why I said that. I didn't realize it was you that said that to me. I thought it was like, you know, you know, I, have, I, I, I got my shades on. I'm mad blind, and I be moving, trying. You know what I mean? Trying to get to the. The quickest place where it's a back or something against my wall. Now I can survey the earth. Y'all niggas is not. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't but, that, but at, at that time, to be fair, him, you had seen me in a minute. I put on a couple panels, bro. You know what I'm saying? So my face all fat and shit. You don't know what the fuck. Who the fuck this yeah, is? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not to you and shit. So. Nah, it was dog you know shit. I'm saying no TLA diddy. Too. It was dog and shit. Yeah, TLA, I said, man, I don't know who this tall nigga is, man. Nigga talk about our losses. For, for real, I don't like what he's saying. You know what I mean? But I'm going to say what I got to say and walk off about it, though, because he kind of big. <laughs> walk, off, walk off about it. Baby. <laughs> I'm going to walk I know, off man. about it. I appreciate y'all niggas having me up here, man. Um, what you going to call that? Shit, I'm supposed to be asleep like an hour ago. I got to be up at like 4 in the morning, bro. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but shout out to the trappers. You know what I'm saying, we all back with. 
I'll say this before I get off here. Uh, Henny, I would love for you to bring the sit downs back, bro. From like what you used to do when you first started, you know what I'm saying, uh, Battle Rap Trap. And you just, you know what I'm saying, we get the Battle Rappers to sit down and chill and smoke and drink and shit like that. Even if y'all just bring that back with just the team, you know what I'm saying, with y'all and Ryder. Hey, Bad Money, hold on, real quick. Shout out Viral Money. You've been showing love all night. Say y'all covering the ride event this weekend. Not right now. We just covered it. We just ran through it just to promo it just now. I don't know if you saw that part, but we going, uh, I'm, I'm going to run through a, a prediction tomorrow. I'm going to go live again tomorrow. Uh, just know I'm on all dog shit for this battle. My nigga Bill Collector is in the comments. That's oh, crazy. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. My nigga Bill. Uh, Bill. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. That my is. Bill, shout out, shout out Bill Collector. Subscribe to Sudden Death Battles. Yeah, you know I mean, he got some Yo, shit coming that's up. That's a big you know man. Man. I ain't even see he was right there, though. Know? That's crazy. We were saying mad good shit behind his back. You know what I mean? Now that he here, I really, you you know, Chess really brings something to the stage that these other niggas don't. Nah, just, nah. Hey, nah. Hey, look, nah <laughs> dude, he, about, he about to try and rile niggas up. Don't don't fall for it, Bill. Nah, because, yeah, I want to get that. I want to get that. Uh, nigga, nah, niggas. And he said, I'm going, what? You know what I mean? Nah, nah. I got Bill money now. I can't bullshit with it. You know what I mean? But with that being said, though, man. Dope convo, bad money. You welcome up here anytime. I might just start sending you the link randomly. Love your yeah. energy along always, with, with my always. brother Spiff. You know what I mean? You know, like they hate us because they're anus, man. We in this motherfucker. You feel me? Um, you know, right now, man. I've been a big fan of the trash since day one. You know that. You know what I'm saying? I hit you up immediately when you first started and told you you had something special. Nah, we, you know we, we, that's we, when we, I first was coming into the game. I forgot you had just gave flowers on the talk everything. That's what I was about to say when I said better in the comments. They are going to be coming back. They are going to be coming back. Nigga, I ain't never had my license in my life. And I'm signing off with this because it's so fire. I ain't never had my license in my motherfucking life. I got three DUIs. So I got my shit revoked before I even obtained it. You feel me? I decided to go ahead <laughs> and get my license because, you know, it's, it's, it's necessary at this point. I'm driving illegally everywhere I go. Or I got to get a goofy bitch to drive or... Uh, Respect to my bitch. I'm just talking about over the years. And, or, or, or some, you know, boom, boom, boom. When I got my nine, boom. Anyway, I'm, I'm about to be riding dodo boom, from boom, state boom, to boom. state. You feel me? It's legally with the camera pulling up on niggas now. You feel me? Let's go. That's been a setback for me. That's been a, that's been a setback. I, I, niggas ain't never know because I move how I want to move regardless. But now I want to move dodo. Now I want to be able to pull up anywhere by myself, no driver required. Even if I ain't, it, my problem is I want to drink too much. I take a shot to that. I take a shot to that. <laughs> my problem is I want to drink too much, so I'm gonna slow down on drinking, stop drinking on nights that I'm driving, so I can get this work done for the track. That's 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 what it's been all about, and this is what it's gonna be all about. You feel me? Hey, take a shot to that. Yeah, and we out this motherfucker, man. Salute, Battle Rap Track. We got the streets.